sorry for the yes page wise mentioning daily board serial number 125 yes sir for item number 5 to 19 we coming for the first time and we need request for extra slot for item number 5 to 19 this is a fresh matter so it will come up for the first time so let it be taken up, then we'll fix it. See, not at the stage of mention. Yes. 22, 24. We are number 21. We are number 21, your lordship. Yes. I'm seeking priority in this. Okay. In this matter, I'm being led by Miss Lovkumar, who is not available today. If I can only request for a short time. But there is some urgency, Lordship. This matter pertains to cancellation of admission of one medical student, Lordship. Now the supplementary exam is... Yes. But the request to go if uh, because I'm being led by Miss Lakuma, she's not available today. The lordships can have it on Monday or any day. Monday. May I request for tomorrow? Tomorrow. tomorrow. She's not there till Monday. That is the day. Okay. He has been admitted or not? No lordship. No. On Monday. Are also left. His internal examination are also left. He is uh, out since January twenty three. Please, lord. Yes. Miss Monday is the holiday. Uh, not Monday January. is the holiday. Okay. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Grateful. May I mention? Number 24. 24, 25, 27, 28, and 31. These are the matters wherein the award is not for regular company. May I request for priority? Okay. 24 to? 24, 25, 27, 28, and 31. 25, 27, 28, and 31. And 31. And okay. with this, there are two matters in supplement report, one and two. They are also okay. pertaining to the same. Okay, all right. Right. Serial number 32. My house is going in demolition in NH National Highway 151 upon one of Jamnagar. My Lord, I am praying for. Uh, just and proper compensation and rehabilitation. Okay. Matter may be kept today. Priority may be given. I am okay. requesting priority or tomorrow. Priority. Top of the okay, we have kept it at priority. Schedule number twenty two. Hmm. You you serve the notice of this matter to Mr. Nanavati, and then we'll take it up on twenty six. One copy is given to the state. Today you I gave notice to, to Mr. Nanavati. To Mr. Nanavati. Right. And tomorrow on the top of the board, I am requesting. And tomorrow. No, on 26th. 26. 26. He has to take instructions. The notice of this petition be served upon Mr. Malik G. Nanavati. Lord. Learn advocate appearing for NH. Learn panel council appearing for NHA. <laughs> Who shall who shall complete his instructions by the next date fixed? Put up on twenty six. Twenty six to thirty four. Serial number twenty two. Yes. Mister Golam, because of some time. 
Why are you keeping it pending? Last location, my lord sir directed to produce entire ownership, but we have applied for the same, but we haven't received. Okay. You got it. No, we haven't received yet. Okay, so That's you have to make some effort to get it okay. by the next week. Any date in the next week? Twenty eight. Thirty five to forty one. 42 to 48, 49 to 55, 56 to 65. Hmm. This main suit is disposed of. This may not survive. Hmm? Suit is already disposed of. This is against the interim models. This has Pretty become infractuous. Yes. On the statement of Mr. It is uh, it is stated by Mr. Harshad Rai Edovil, an advocate, appearing for the petitioner that the original regular civil suit come out of which the present petition has arisen, namely commercial civil suit number 303 of 2023, has been decided finally. The instant petition has thus been rendered infectious. In view of the above statement, the red petitions, the present petition, not red petition, present petition is dismissed as infectious. Oh. Interim order, if any, stands discharged. Yes. Is it any only petition? Yes. 66 to 71. My Lord, serial number 69. My Lord, this matter was substantially heard on the last occasion. Thereafter, the notice was issued to the Metro Corporation. My lords, I would be able to file my reply by the 26th. May I request for 28th? Have you taken consent of the I other side? My lords, I take Okay. On to, as prayed by Mr. Anuj K. Trivedi. Learn advocate appearing for your Metro Rail Corporation. Respond number two, Metro Rail Corporation. Appearing for respond number two, Metro Rail Corporation. Respond number three. Metro Rail Corporation. Come on, the matter is posted on 28th to, in, to enable him to file a reply. Gotcha. Seven, yes. 72, 73 to 76. 76, Miloch. On the 230 board, I have some difficulty. I have taken consent of my Lord. Can it be kept in the week of first? Please. Any date in the first week of April? Please. On the request made by. You are appearing for respondent. Mr. Mr. Mano Mehta in one of the first. Request made on behalf of Mr. Manav A. Mehta, the advocate. Appearing for the respondents, the matter is posted on date. Please. Fourth of April. At 2.30. Please. Date. Date number 75. Is the leave out in this line? have requested for You are appearing for the person who has sent the leave note. Really, you are a, an advocate. If one, if there are two advocates, one sent the leave note. Why would this matter is about 10, 10 years old? Why would we adjourn it? You are not adjourning it on the leave note of one of the councils. Seventy seven to seventy nine. 80 and 81, 82 to 84. Serial number 82 and 83. Upon instruction, I may be permitted to withdraw this uh, appeals as settlement has been arrived at between the parties. 82 and 83. 83, yes. And the Honorable Court yes. may kindly permit me to withdraw the balance amount lying in FDR with the court below. These are my instructions. So that will take its own course. We are not saying anything. The permission of the Honorable Court would be required since the matter... Why? Is... If the appeal is disposed of, as the amount is deposited under whose direction? Under the direction of this Honorable Court. Okay, so then we'll take it up in the priority. Yeah. 82 and 83, we'll take the it up and then... no objection. If the... We will take it up and then pass off. Please Not sir. at the time of mentioning. Please, sir. 85 to 88. 82 to 94. 95 to 103, 104 to 10, criminal appeals, 
listed up to serial number 146, 147, and 48. Couple of copy boxes. 151. Hmm. Well, I said serial number 152. The only obvious objection raised by the, this way is that I have filed a KVA and there is no notice of admission in, this, uh, in the main field. Therefore, the registry is not able to attend the field of main person. So, am I requested to the cross hmm. the field from the history of the main person? What is the objection? That since the main appeal has not been admitted, I should not have been filed the cross objection in this field. What is the key? So, suppose appeal is not admitted, then why why would you file cross objection? You appear in that matter first. You have filed a caveat there. So, once the caveat is uh, reported, then you will you will be appearing in that matter. And that in that matter itself, you can file cross objection Filing on the day when you appear in the, in the court. I already appeared. I am at the KV that I appeared in that matter. Order is passed. Main matter is listed. Yes, it is coming on 450th So, objection. Have you filed any delay condonation application? Yeah. Cross objection is like a cross appeal. Right. So you are required to file a delay condonation application. But the number of delays is very big, also than the registry. Their main objection is that since the main appeal has not been admitted, I should not have filed the cross objection in this appeal. That can be computed from the date of the order itself. Cross objection is like. Cross objection is like cross appeal, appeal against the order passed by the trial court. So the limitation is to be computed from the date of the order passed by the trial court. Where is the question of, it is like appeals filed by both sides. Instead of filing two appeals, in one appeal you file cross objection, other side uh, is filing the main appeal. So the key the word. Up. Tell, uh, Mr. Suthar, to talk to me. I'll try to understand what is the issue. I'll work out what is the issue first, then we'll see. Same order, two weeks. <clears throat> Yes. A daily board, serial number 123, Mr. Siddharth H. Dave, mm -hmm. Mr. Dhaval C. Dave, Lanet, Senior Advocate, Ms. Udit N. Vyas, Ms. Aishwarya. What is this? My Lord's, uh, pursuant to my Lord's direction on the last occasion, the committee has carried out uh, the inquiry and mm. my Lord's directed that the same. We directed you to look to the original record my physically and examine it physically. Please, my And see what is the actual position. My so, the what is the position according to you? Uh, my Lord's, um, there are 38 students in the three institutes. I will give the institute-wise distinction also, my Lord. There are total 38 students uh, whose details were not submitted to the admission committee and they have been found to be studying in the institutes. This is the final concern. So take action against the institutes. What action can be taken by you? My Lord, we have You proposed... have to report the matter to the state government? Please, my Lord. My Lord and have... state government will take action? My Lord, the state government will take action. And cancel the admission of those 38 students? Have you given the list of those students? My lords. They were admitted by them 
and their details have not been given to the admission committee, it is not uploaded not on the portal by 16-12-2023. Have you given the details of those students which you found? Please, my Lord, I, may be... take, I may take my lots to the findings of the committee, just in brief. At page 241 of the report or the affidavit. Page 241. The report was directed by the Honorable Court to be placed along with the affidavit. So. The Pharmacy Council of India is also to take action in this on this report well, for uh, uh, like uh, you recognize the institute grant recognition for de recognition from the coming year for the the next year onwards. Yes, Malats. Page two forty one Malats. And the state government affiliates, how this this uh, UGC, the they UGC recognized the university, Malas. Parul University, is a deemed university. Unless they are a private university under the Gujarat Private University Act. There is a okay. separate act. They are, so, okay. So then uh, regulatory, uh, so far as standards are concerned, uh, for uh, giving affiliation, <coughs> for give, giving recognition to... Pharmacy course, Malas. PCI, Pharmacy P Council of India would do, Malas. and for other purposes, Malas. for this university, like the it is created under Gujarat Universities Act, Malas. State Universities Act, please, Malas. but it would be a, a university under Section Three of the UGC Act, deemed university, Malas. right? Malas. So this, even if it is created, it is a state university that way. But it is a deemed university under Section 3. Malas. They must be getting some grant from UGC as well. I'm not aware no. of those details, man. There's a condition that there will be no company. Your private university. Okay. Under the act, there is a... Okay. So you are running this university. But UGC can still take action against you. Under the act, UGC no is the... We have to ask the Honorable Court under hmm. the act. But if there is breach on our part, then Section... 30 would come into place. So very mm -hmm. Section 30 confer the power upon the state government to take appropriate action. Mm -hmm. This is just the installment okay. of I must point out. But that. otherwise, also the PCI also has to do this. It's over at PCI is concerned. Is concerned with the For recognition of the course. So far as admission is concerned, we fall under the domain of the site Okay. The site okay. Section 13 empowers the okay. to take appropriate action. Okay. Not penalty, no, uh, rather de-recognizing this university. The they cannot play with the life of the students. It's not a joke that you admit 38 students whose admissions are later found to be wrong. They will suffer. They will not be able to get their degree. degree. Then this is kind of playing with the life of the students. So we have given our explanation. Of course, now the state government and the section... No, no, you have to join on the issue. You cannot say that you are not joining on the issue. You, you have to answer. You have to answer. What explanation can you give for these 38 students whose details are not uploaded? No, whose details are not uploaded on the portal. And this we could come to know only after making a lot of inquiry. And a lot of time of the court has been taken out on this. There is a false declaration by the registrar of the university. All this cannot go in a vein. You are answerable to all this. You cannot say that you will not join on the no, issue. I, I said not joining an issue on the court. You cannot speak. You do not have anything. We, we will ask you to pay the damages to each and every student. The university will pay from its own pocket. The authorities of the university and the registrar, they will pay from their own pocket. <coughs> yes.
Yes, page two forty one, my lords. Yes, Roman seven, my lords. It is the findings of the committee after considering the submissions regarding admission discrepancies and final admission status of the. Which so, paragraph you are reading? My lords, para one, para Roman para seven. Hmm. Seven point one, my lord. Hmm, yes. This is the first institute, my lords. That hmm. is a uh, parallel institute of pharmaceutical education research. That is Institute A, my lords. In this institute, page uh, two forty. Two forty one, my lords. Two forty one. At the bottom. This is Roman. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, seven. Institute A, my lords. Parallel Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research. Hmm. That is Institute A, which was designated by my uh, hmm. lords. So, my lords, yes. in this university, after examining all the records, we found that there were total five students uh, whose names were, ad in addition to what had been disclosed by them, and these students were those who were mentioned in the 9th October affidavit, 9th October 23, but subsequently in the 19th February 24 affidavit, my lords, it was stated that four students were unable to produce their original mark sheets, and one student was a case of transfer. My lords, the details of the students are on the next page. My lords, at page 242. My lords, serial number 1, 2. They are studying in the institute. My lords, they are studying. These five persons whose names were not later initially given, but later they deleted their names. Of four, they deleted. One, they said, was a part of another institute. She had shifted. So right. the discrepancy. All five are uh, studying. All, all five are studying, my lords. I have given the uh, a tabular uh, uh, compilation, my lords which is the justification which is provided by the university. We had issued them a notice, my lords, and they had come to us uh, for one, two, and three, four. The justification is, my lords, that these students passed their 12th examination from the National Institute of Open Schooling, the result of which was declared on the 20th of January, and therefore their details could not be uploaded uh, by 16th of January. This is the justification for the four students. The fifth student, my lords, her admission was already... That means they were not qualified for admission. My lords. Mm -hmm. hmm. My lords, the fifth student, my lords, her admission was recorded and submitted to us for Institute B. So it was a case of inter-institute transfer. My lords, the final finding for this institute... So, so for this four are... Wrongly admitted. My lords, that is in para number 1.5 at the bottom in uh, on this page. Four is fifth is transferred. Fifth is transferred. Fifth is transferred, my lords. So no no issue about fifth. No issue. Four, they they were not qualified, my lords. On the last date of admission. My lords. And they are still studying in this. They are studying. We have examined the uh, grade reports. The... Next. My lords. My lords, para number 1.5 would make it very clear at the bottom on this page. I may just read. Therefore, the committee has come to the conclusion that currently 72 students are pursuing their BPharm degree course at Institute A. 67, which were endorsed by the ACPC, which means that their details were submitted to the ACPC, plus four, which were admitted after the cutoff date, and one who was transferred from the other institute. My lords, for Institute B, I have, uh, that is the second paragraph, my lords, that is Parul College of Pharmacy and Research. Hmm. My lords, in this case, there were 12 students who were extra that were mentioned in the 9th October affidavit. Hmm. My lords, I may just give some figures because there is uh, some overlapping in case of this institute. Um, initially, my lords, the ACPC had uh, presented before the Honorable Court a list of 51 students. Hmm. Of which, my lords, uh, we have been able to ascertain that six were duplicated. Six were? So six names were duplicated. So the count comes to 45. Thereafter, my lords, in their 9th October affidavit, they had given a figure of 56. And in their 19th February 24 affidavit, they stated that five students were repeated. In case of 11, the original mark sheets could not be produced and therefore they were not granted admission. And one student was studying in Institute A, which is the inter-institute transfer case manuals. So 11, they say, could not complete their admission. Manuals. Hmm. Manuals, uh, we had asked them to provide a justification of the students mentioned in the table at point two point two. 
at page 243 my notes hmm. these were the students of our, for whose status we had asked for a final clarification my lords uh, as per the justification by the university there are six students again uh, who were not qualified because their national indian open schooling 12th examination board was uh, later on was declared for my lords for five students they have stated that their details could not be uploaded due to an administrative lapse and the 12th student my lords the details were not given to us but she has later onwards cancelled her admission so 11 are studying 11 months out of 11 six are not qualified months seven for remaining five months there is no detail of their up, uh, admission they, they uploaded the they say that it was not uploaded due to an administrative lapse man that, that is they are going months. to help them my lord sir question oh, there are so many lapses my lord at page 245 the last paragraph 2.8 which will summarize the findings my lords hmm. therefore the committee has come to the conclusion that currently 48 students are pursuing their b farm course 37 which are endorsed by the admission committee six who were admitted after the cut off date five admitted but not submitted to acpc due to administrative lapses my lords hmm. the third institute is the institute of pharmaceutical sciences that is institute c my lords in this case there were 23 students which were mentioned in the 9th october affidavit 20 23 manods in the 9th october affidavit manods they had mentioned 23 additional students hmm. after examining the records manods we found that there were additional 9 students hmm. who were studying there hmm. and uh, whose details were not uploaded at the portal of the acpc hmm. manods the, the total list of 32 students that is 23 hmm. plus 9 we had asked them to provide us the details hmm para 3.2 my lords is a tabular uh, form my lords again 17 students were not qualified my lords my lords for six students they say that it is an administrative lapse hmm seven students my lords have come to them from institute b so it is an inter institute transfer case hmm and two remaining students that is 17 plus 6 23 7 whether so their admission in institute b was it was there. correct uh, the details were there their no admission. so they are transfer in students my lords so they have been transferred to which institute to this institute to from? institute from institute b to c no there there is only one student at uh, item number 22 page 247 Item number twenty-two, my lords. Okay, uh, acha. That is administrative. So this is like one, two, three, four, four, five. Six. How many students are transferred? Seven. Seven. Seven students. But your, uh, my lords, twenty-four to thirty. Number twenty-four to thirty. Thirty. Yes. Their admission in Institute B is correct, my lords. They that is uploaded, my lords. That is it. Within time. Okay. By sixteenth. okay and 31 and 32 um one of them uh, was not qualified but later onwards has cancelled their admission and 32 was also cancelled so out of 32 students we found that 30 were studying and mm -hmm. of this 37 were an institute transfer case my lords 7 7 so out of 37 are in uh, institute transfer my lords whose admissions are correct admissions were uploaded at institute endorsed by acpc okay so that means it comes to 23 23 my lords 23 are still uh, not Please, properly my admitted my lords my lords may right. have my lords may have para 3.8 at the next page my lords 248 which will summarize the findings of the committee Therefore, the committee has come to the conclusion that currently eighty-five students are pursuing the B Farm degree course at Institute C, fifty-five endorsed by the ACPC, seventeen admitted after the cut-off date, six admitted but not submitted to ACPC due to administrative lapse, and seven transferred from Institute B. Hmm. My lords, at page two forty-nine, we have provided a summary of the findings or uh, hmm. an overall summary of the three institutes. Hmm.
para four my lords. Um, I may read my lords. Four point one. A clear discrepancy is observed in majority students whose names were mentioned in the affidavit dated ninth October filed by the respective institutes before the Honorable High Court. Who will uh, have to take action against them? Uh, my lords, it will be the state government. We have made certain recommendations, my lords, which are at page two forty nine, pursuant to the uh, orders of the Honorable Court. Section. Now, section 13 empowers us to um, make the recommendation to the state government. Section 13. 30. That is the name of the act. Malaj, it is uh, Gujarat Professional Technical Educational Colleges or Institutions yes. Act of 2007. The recognition is given under this. Uh, Act, Gujarat Private Universities Man. Act, Man. which Man. is the relevant provision of this Act, Private Universities Act. Man. Man. Establishment of University, Section 3. Man. Just the section three, my lords, their names would be mentioned in the schedule which is annexed to the order. Can you give us the procedure as to how your university is recognized? Please, my lord, my lord, section six, if my lords may have. With the regulations frame Karni ke power and speaking. My Lord, the application is first made by the uh, university hmm. to the state government. Hmm. And after due scrutiny, it is placed before the state legislature, my Lord, because it then forms a part of the act. So as section six, I was pointing out, any sponsoring body desires to have a private university section, section six miles of, of this uh, two thousand private university. Hmm. Section six. Any sponsoring body hmm. desires to have a private university established by a law of the state legislature shall make an application containing the proposal and the project report in such manner containing such particulars along with such fee as may be prescribed. Okay, so section six application would be moved, please, my lords, for establishment of the university, my lords. Then, whereafter, my lords, there is a scrutiny committee which is uh, right, section eight, my lords. Hmm. And on receipt of the report of the scrutiny committee constituted under section eight, hmm. if the government is satisfied, then it may issue a letter of intent. Hmm, that is section nine, my lords. Nine. Hmm. And my lords, section ten, that if the government is satisfied that the sponsoring body has complied with the conditions of the LOI, it may bring appropriate legislation for inclusion of the name of the university in the schedule with such name, location, and jurisdiction specified in the schedule. Hmm. Then, my lords, section eleven also provides for the constituent colleges. The university may, as and when it may deem fit and proper, establish and manage some constituent colleges and centers for research, <laughs> education, training, extension, so and so, at any place hmm. within the state of Gujarat. Hmm. Well, chapter two discusses the officers of the university. Hmm. Chapter three, months. and chapter four is uh, per pertains to authorities that will be appointed in the university that will have a governing body, a board of this management. This university is included in the schedule. Um, of the act, well, uh, at the relevant point of time when the act was passed, maybe the schedule is not it updated. Must have been yes, it is at seal number seventeen. Okay, Paral University, Madhodra.
when was this university established which year 2015 ma'am and when this pharmacy course started alas these three colleges they for the first they time were established for the first, first time. time that is why they went to the pharmacy council new colleges new colleges 20 to 20 64 three new colleges three new they established in the year 2021 22 20 20. for the academic 20 year 22 20 23 hmm now what is the procedure for taking action Uh, my lord in our report we have made certain recommendations which are at page 249 if i may take my lord to see what is the procedure but my lord we will only be able to act what does the act say uh, under the private university act my lord yes. or the to the gujarat technical law wherever there is a provision for taking action my lord under we the we don't know under the gujarat professional technical education act under section 13 after committee uh, conducting the inquiry uh, the we make a recommendation to the state government to take appropriate action and that is a recommendation which we have made my lords as a part of our report this is in the case of uh, like uh, to refund the fee and recommend for taking appropriate action please ma'am right have you directed them to refund the fee um, no my lords my lords we have direct you are required to direct this is your authority please read section 13 my lords i, I have not cancelled admission of those no i, I understand now please read where the admission committee my lords i have seen 132 uh, please lads, read I, as per the i i read where the admission committee on receipt of any complaint or otherwise satisfied after due inquiry that the unaided okay. professional educational college or institution has given admission to a student in contravention of the provisions of this act or has violated any provisions of this act it may one direct the concerned college or institution to admit the student as per the merit list in place of the student who has been admitted in contravention of the provisions of the act two direct the college or institution to refund the fee to the student so admitted in contravention of the provisions of this act and three recommend to the state government concerned university or the statutory authority for taking appropriate action against such college or institution hmm so you did three you have taken action and recommended minus under 3 my clause lord. 3 but for two you did nothing uh, my lords as per my lords order which was passed uh it, my lords have recorded you were required case, to place inquiry report before us and my lords it is also recorded that in case of the discrepancies found in the record of uh, admission further action shall also be proposed or recommended to the state government in accordance with provisions so of 13 so that that One, that three. is not to be taken in literal sense we have not said that whatever is your authority you cannot do it i quite see my lords so you are reading our order in literal way uh, but my lords that admission paid... committee is empowered to do this my lords who else will cancel the admission and direct the college to refund the fee i understand that otherwise these students will continue to uh, study in the institution their career is blocked and it would be further blocked so for as compensation damages we will take care we are not asking you to do that but you have to take action as per the provisions of the act if my lords may permit i may just read the recommendations portion because there is something which we have recommended no Uh, see, for three, you don't have to recommend to the state government. State government is not going to do that. Madam, that is your job. You are the admission committee. You ensure that the admissions are made in the institution in a proper manner. Please, the task of admission is given to you. Please, ma'am. And this inquiry was with respect to the admission. Admission, sir. And this is on complaint. And the otherwise, or uh, this is under the order of the court. It Please, is one and the same thing, ma'am. So you are taking half-hearted action under Section Thirteen. No, ma'am, that is not the case, ma'am. 
वो तो दोनों को करना पड़ेगा फार्मेसी काउंसिल एंड स्टेट गवर्नमेंट बोथ दैट यू डिड दैट यू डिड दैट इज नॉट एन इश्यू ये तो इन्होंने कर दिया बट दे हैव नॉट डन दिस सेकेंड पार्ट you take you take decision and bring it before us and in the meantime state government will also take a decision your decision is only uh, some like it it should be in a day or two likhiye from the inquiry report dated 23 2024 of the admission committee submitted along with the affidavit of the officer on special duty of the admission committee for professional courses dated 23 2024 confirms the infirmity slash illegal infirmities in the admission process conducted by parul university comma a deemed university this admission process is conducted by the university private university ha huh, okay a private the admission process is conducted by the university So, the proper vacant seats are concerned by the university. Fifty percent seats by us. Whatever remains vacant, so the, all, the entire the vacant. The so, my, who was in charge of the making of making of admission? The institute level one or the other. क्या लिखा? तो जो सेंट्रलाइज्ड लोग एडमिशन लोग सो पाओगे। इन्फर्मिटीज स्लैश इलिगलिटीज कमिटेड बाय नहीं इन्फर्मिटीज इन द एडमिशन प्रोसेस कंडक्टेड बाय द पारुल यूनिवर्सिटी कॉमा अ प्राइवेट यूनिवर्सिटी स्टैब्लिश्ड अंडर द गुजरात प्राइवेट यूनिवर्सिटीज एक्ट 2009 फर्स्ट ऑफ the dispute pertains to admission to three constituent colleges of parul university in the the dispute pertains to admission admission in b pharma course for the academic year 2000 b pharma or it is b pharma b pharma course comma for the academic year 2022-23 in three constituent colleges of the parul university full stop under the order dated 43 comma we have noted discrepancies in the affidavits while karega while noticing discrepancies in the affidavits filed by the registrar of the parul university comma we have directed the admission committee the chairman ad admission committee for professional co courses brackets acpc to constitute a team of officers comprising of member secretary and such other number of officers as he deems appropriate comma to conduct an inquiry into the physical records of admission of the students in three constituent colleges named in the order as institute a b and c comma after by kare by seizure and sealing of the record within a period of 24 hours from the date of the order first of para change kare the inquiry report 
has been submitted after giving opportunity of explanation slash hearing to the institute concern. Institute as well as university. Matters. Institute the, to the university karega, as well as constituent colleges. First off, the inquiry report records that in total 38 students in three institutes have been illegally admitted, comma, either comma karega beyond the cutoff date for admission to B Pharma course for academic year 22-23, comma, which was 16-1-2023. First off, some of these students, comma, who are actually studying, some of the total number of 38 students who are actually studying in the institutes, contrary career, having been admitted contrary to the provisions of Gujarat Professional Technical Educational Colleges or Institutions Brackets Regulation of Admission and Fixation of Fee Act 2017, comma, Seven. sorry, 2007, comma, do not even, yeah, do not even possess the qualifications of passing higher secondary examination, comma, prior to the cutoff date on the date of on the date of this this otherwise though there has been an admission uh, examination entrance test prior to kare even kare even prior to the cutoff date Malas, that is the last date of admission less to say that prior to the date of holding entrance examination. No no, for this matter, there is no entrance. Okay. Prior to the date of preparation of the merit list, comma, for admission to the course, to B Pharma course, first off. The details with regard to such students, comma, who have been admitted in three constituent colleges of the university in contravention of the Act 2007 are clearly narrated in the inquiry report after seeking explanation of the university as also the uh, uh, administration of the university as also the constituent colleges. First off, on a query made by the court, comma, Mr. Mr. Dhawal Dawelan, senior advocate, assisted by Mr. Mr. Udit and Vyas, learn counsel for the learn counsel appearing for the respondent institutes, would not make any submissions. First off. You said that you are not joining on the issue. No, no, I am got on the proposition of the section 13's application. I never said Likhe ga. on facts. I never said I was Mr. Mr. You, I asked you. You said if you are not joining the issue. When the honorable court Mr. Council, we are we are asking you. See, you cannot I am prepared to once you say you are not joining the issue. I was not joining in issue. What will you say about this? If what will you say about this? Pure question of law. Why, why would you say about these facts? No, what would you is, say? My submission is hmm. that out of these 38 students, 11 students were fulfilling the criteria of admission before the cutoff date of 16th January 2017, uh, 2024, 23. But 
for some administrative lack on the part of the institute. Any other submission? Second, over 23 remaining are concerned. Out of 38, remaining 27 are concerned. Those students were granted admission provisionally. That would be a better for all year. And their mark sheets were available only after three days or okay. 20 years. Look here. The, on the query made by the court, comma, explanation offered by Mr. So-and-so, an appearing for the institute is, respondent institute is that out of 38, comma, 11 students are such who were fulfilling eligibility criteria prior to the cutoff date, that is 16-1-2023. And they were duly granted admission, but their details could not be furnished on the website, on the portal of ACPC by the cutoff date and time, which was 16 1 2023, at about what time? Well, what was the time? Uh, last date for uploading was 17th, for admissions was 16th. Huh. Which was 17 1. 2023, up till Madam. there was a time. 12 midnight, Madam. Still 12. midnight till the official days change. Uh, 17 1 2023 till midnight. Post up. This explanation cannot be accepted, has not been accepted by the admission committee while making its recommendation in the inquiry report. And we also do not find any justification for accepting this explanation given by the learned senior counsel appearing for the institute. First of all, there was no, op first of all, in view of the provisions of the Act 2007, which regulates admission in professional technical institutions in the state of Gujarat, technical educational institutions in the state of Gujarat and the timeline provided by the admission committee, comma, there was no option for the institute, comma, institute taking admission, comma, but to upload the details of such students who were admitted on or before 16-1-2023, comma, on the portal of ACPC by 17-1-2023, midnight. First of all, It is also pertinent to note that these discrepancies were pointed out in the inquiry report on an exhaustive inquiry made by this court comma, having found infirmities in two affidavits filed by the registrar of the university where different figures and details of admitted students have been furnished to this court. First of as regards the other students, other 27 students, Comma, who are who are admittedly not qualified for admission to B Pharma course. Comma, the explanation offered by the learned senior counsel is that their mark sheets were not available till the last date of till the last date of admission, that is 16 1 2023, and hence it could not be furnished to the admission committee. First of the contention is that the admission granted to these students is provisional and therefore institutes cannot be said to have or committed any illegality in continuing to allow these students to undertake study in B Pharma course. First of all, this admission, this contention itself suffers from inherent fallacy, comma, in as much as in case 
these 28 students were not qualified on the last date of admission, that is 16-1-2023, comma, there was no occasion for the administration of the institute slash university concern. Administration of the university slash institute concern to grant them admission even provisionally. And moreover, these institutes were found to be studying in the institutions in three constituent colleges of the university, of the Paral University, on per usual of the physical record of the institutes pertaining to admission on the date of inspection of the record. First of the findings, the career, the explanation offered by the learned senior counsel appearing for the institute during the course of argument to assert that no infirmity or illegality can be said to have been committed by the administration of the university in granting admission to 38 students and allowing them to study in three constituent colleges comma, is found to be misconceived. First of all, we are therefore of the... There is a couple of other states, namely Telangana, Bihar, and Orissa. Uh, last date was extended up to 8 February 2020. The, it is... To accommodate those students whose results were yeah, yeah, like on PT. Last time. We, they, we are therefore of the considered opinion. We therefore we therefore reach at an irresistible conclusion that the respondent university, that the administration of respondent university, namely Paral University, as also three constituent colleges of the said university had committed grave illegality in granting admission to young students in spite of knowing that they are not eligible, they are either not eligible for admission, having, do, having not attained the requisite eligibility qualification or they were not entitled for admission on account of the fact that the last date of admission in B Pharma course for academic session 22-23, which was 16-1-23, had already expired. First of all, the further submission of senior counsel appearing for the respondent university slash college constituent colleges that in other states extension in the last date of admission was granted after noticing that some students could not complete the admission formalities and similar indulgence may be granted by this court to the respondent institute comma, is of no help. Rather, the said submission is also found misconceived. Comma, for the simple reason that the respondent institute slash university, the respondent university slash constituent colleges never approached this court for seeking any relaxation in this regard. For stop even otherwise, such a relaxation could not have been granted in view of the categorical directions issued by the FX court and the last date for admission fixed by the admission committee, which was well within the knowledge of everyone, including every institute in the state of Gujarat, every institute in the state of Gujarat that no admission in B Pharma course for the academic section 2022-23 could be given 
beyond the cut off date could be granted beyond the cut off date that is 16 1 2023 first of we may further record exception to the submissions made by the learned senior counsel for another fact there is another aspect of the matter that the registrar of the university comma aspect of the matter comma the registrar of the university gave a false declaration in the form of two affidavits filed by him before us in the instant appeal about while while giving details of admitted students in the in three constituent colleges first of we for for this reason comma we also are of the we also find it fit to issue notice to the registrar comma parallel university to explain as to why proceedings for committing perjury comma for making a false statement in the court of law on affidavit be not initiated against him the reply to the inquiry this a show cause notice in this respect the reply to the such to the show cause notice shall be submitted by the next date fixed first of para change kareng. we further provide that as a Having gone through the provisions of Section 13 of the 2013 Act, comma, we find that two courses of action was required to be undertaken by the admission committee in the facts and circumstances of the instant case, comma, having found that the, that the constituent colleges, that the institutes have given admission to students in contravention of the provisions of the act and have violated the guidelines for guidelines issued by acpc for admission for regulating admission for the academic section 2022-23 in b pharma course firstly now roman small i firstly to direct the college concern slash institute to refund the fee to the students so admitted students admitted in contravention of the provisions of the act 2007 roman small two semicolon comma roman small two secondly to recommend to the state government and the statutory authority for taking appropriate action against such college or against the college or and the against the constituent colleges. Respondent constituent colleges slash university. First of the admission committee from a perusal of the recommendation made by the admission committee in the report dated 23, 2024. Comma, it is evident that the admission committee has taken only has not taken the complete remedial steps comma to ask the institute by asking by asking the institute to refund the fees of the students admitted in contravention of the provisions of the act and the guidelines issued by the mcpc uh, sorry, ACPC for not to grant any admission on or after nay, on not to grant any admission after 16 1 2023. First off, we therefore provide. We therefore provide that the admission committee shall issue necessary directions to the institution concern, institutions concern slash university to cancel the admission of 38 students, comma, whose details are given in the inquiry report and refund their and refund the entire fee 
deposited by such students, including admission fee. Till date, comma, along with the interest at the rate of rupees 12% per annum from the date of deposit till the date of payment. Full stop. In addition to the refund of fee, comma, the constituent colleges slash university are also directed to pay damages for loss of one academic year of such students on account of illegal admission taken by the university slash constituent colleges, comma, which in our considered opinion would be five lakhs per student, ten lakhs per student. in any other state or university in accordance with the procedure for admission, in accordance with law. First off, in our considered opinion, comma, which we compute to, iske baad de, which we compute to the tune of rupees 10 lakhs per student. First off, the entire amount towards refund of fee to 38 illegally admitted students by the respondent constituent colleges as also the damages to the tune of rupees 10 lakh per student shall be paid by the respondent by the authorities of the respondent institutions within a period of two weeks. Within a period of, within a period of two weeks from today, first of the report of compliance of payment of cancellation of admission of each such student and payment of and refund of fee, fee along with the damages computed by us shall be filed by the registrar of the university, registrar Parul University, along with his explanation to the notice for perjury, comma, on the next date fixed. First of para change kari. in the meantime, that which is fixed kari, today is 21st. On 12th at 12.30 p.m. First of the Response or the learn AGP appearing for the state response. Yeah, 15th of April, instead of 12th of April, subject to the 15th. 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 First of at 12.30. The learn AGP appearing for the state response is also directed to bring the response of the state government, comma, about the action proposed or taken against the respondent university, against Parul University, comma, which has been 
established under section six no what is the under section 10 Man. under section 10 which is established and incorporated by the state legislature under section 10 of the gujarat private universities act 2009 the affidavit of who is to take action education department the affidavit of the additional chief secretary of the higher education department is yeah. it separate education additional chief secretary come our education department the same the affidavit of the additional chief secretary of the education department comma education department of the state of gujarat comma of the state of gujarat of government of gujarat state of gujarat shall also be filed on the next date fixed comma the action taken by action proposed or taken by the pharmacy council of india on the recommendations of the admission committee dated 23 to th on the above recommendations above noted recommendations of the admission committee shall also be placed on record on the date fixed first of all. let this matter be posted on date 15. Thank <laughs>
Serial number four, Mr. M. B. Gandhi, Leonard, Senior Advocate, with Mr. Abhishek Vaisha. <clears throat> The files are different. This is what five by the defendant, and the court allows that the file on the fifth is changed. That is allowed. Yes. Now, in short, for a cover suit to refer some of what comes to the one that. Review was of which order? Watch it, but that review order is actually 353. And that is not being over here. So he sought for reframing of issue by review. The these two issues ten and eleven, which were framed, so there was an MOV and there were checks given. Now the okay. So there was some dispute with regard to framing of issues, right? That is corrected. Right. Right. That issues have not been properly framed. So those issues were now are now framed. They are now reframed. The same issues are there, but they are now reframed after noticing the infirmity which was there in the order of framing of issue. So then what is the prejudice caused to you? Now I say not that so far as the order is concerned on page number 10. You can find the appeal from the middle of it. So issue is going on. The language of the issue is not correct. The, it is your suit. The plaintiff has to prove. Defendant is cannot be burden cannot be uh, lay on the laid on the defendant for uh, proving any document. Now come to please read issue number ten and eleven at page fifty four. That is on page fourteen or sixteen. Page fifty four. That is the order under 88. On page 54, you know? Page 54. Yes. Issues 10 and 11. 11 and 12, whether the defense side proves that they have so-and-so, they fit the plaintiff regarding that view of the symbolic position. Now, this was not a new material. In the order, the judge said that it's a new material which has come. Therefore, I accept the application. But so far, it was the, uh, uh, we are asking you to read 10 and 11, not 12. 10 and 11, they have been reframed now. And how he has reframed it? Now, there was, it seems that it was only a typographical error. Now, please come to page 54, issue number 10. Please read. Whether the defendant side proves to be better than page 16 at 29th of December issue by the plaintiff or the views of the above of the plaintiff. So, this is a suit of recovery filed by you. Why would defendant prove that whether these letters are towards the dues of the plaintiff or not? The plaintiff therefore, has to prove. Therefore, whether this issue is proper, we so far as. Uh, so, the word defendant is wrongly written here. It should not be actually a review. It should be only a, a correction application for making correction in the issue because, because of typographical error, 
in the first line, instead of plaintiff, defendant came. It should be plaintiff, whether the plaintiff proves that letters dated so-and-so issued by the defendant to the plaintiff were towards the due amount of the plaintiff. You have to prove that the, these letters were issued towards the due amount. The letters were issued by defendant. Therefore, Actually, oh. so you have to prove but that you these, have pleaded. You these have pleaded. letters, you are relying on these letters. You have pleaded you are, in your suit. The that letters are not relied on. Your they wrote to us and therefore it is uh, proved to be paid by the defendant. You, the, you are relying on these, you will be relying on these letters. Right, but I am not refusing. I am saying that the letters are written by the defendant to the plaintiff. So then you have to prove that these letters were towards dues, which were towards you. But that previous for dues towards you. Therefore, originally the issue was framed to the effect <laughs> that it was a plaintiff's liability. The instant appeal. And because uh, this is uh, 353, but so far as exhibit uh, 88 and 312 are concerned, there also the order which has been passed and the issues which have been reframed, you know, there also Roshan has Only two been... issues have been reframed, nothing else has been done. But we got uh, your evidence and everything. Is... Having learned, heard, heard learned counsels for the parties and produced the record, comma, we find that the instant appeal from order under section 30, 13 of from order of the commercial court in a review application, comma, has been filed under section 13 of the Commercial Court and Commercial Division Act, comma, to assail the order of reframing of the issue, slash, correcting, uh, correcting the error made by the court concerned in framing of two issues, namely issue number 10 and 11. First off, the contention of learned, learned senior counsel appearing for the petition for the appellant slash plaintiff is that once the letters comma subject matter noted in the issues Issue number 10 were issued by the defendant and there is no dispute about the said fact, comma, there was no error in framing of issue number 10 that the defendant was required to prove that those letters were issued to the plaintiff towards dues of the plaintiff. First off, with regard to issue number 11, comma, similar submissions have been made First of para change three. Considering the above comma, we may note that the appellant herein, namely the plaintiff, has filed a suit for recovery against the defendant, relying upon the documents which are noted in issue number ten and eleven, comma extracted here in a originally career, originally framed by the trial court comma extracted here in below here in under page 54 first off from the fact from the bare fact that the suit for recovery has been filed by the plaintiff comma we do not find any error in the order under review or under under the impugned order passed on the review application in correcting the, in reframing the issue by correcting the language of issue numbers 10 and 11 as under Kulandash court, page 14, sir, court Kadija. First off, no error of, no error, much less error of law can be found in the order of the trial court in Reframing the issue by correcting the language there. First of all, issue number three and issue number seven. That is not touched. I have challenged that order of 88 and 312. 
Well, this is issues with the three and seven are the same on page 53. That also never that did not correct me. Same issue. Not need, needed. <laughs> that is not done. The instant appeal is thus found devoid of merits and hinges. Serial number 5 to 19, Mr. Vimal. You have it. filed the writ petition against the order, order of Mamlata in the proceeding under section 84C. No, please, my Lord. And the learned single judge has said that you go and avail the remedy, yes. statutory remedy. What is wrong with the order? Here, may I request one thing? I hear lots of, uh, See, Mr. Counsel, he, this is fresh matter. In this way, the matters are not to be adjourned. You take time of the court and the court reads the matter. Only we, we go through the matter. No, this is, this is not so. I, I you have to point out I some laugh. kind I of laugh. prejudice. Why I, would we adjourn the matters? Just simply because I mean, I you want adjournment. I will assist not Sorry. <laughs> Which order you would you have challenged? I'm challenging the before order. the learned single judge. Yes, Lordship would find it paid. Mr. Counsel, please tell us. 64 Lordship. No, we want to know the date and the order, whose order you would 14, you had challenged. It is it is passed by the learned Mamladar and AL. Then the what is wrong? The remedy is there with, with, with you. This is dated 14 12 2021, Lordship. Likhega. The instant appeal has arisen. Where is the order where the learned single judge has said that you can go before the statutory authority? Yes, Lordship would find that in conclusive after para six. And the court also six, says that without being influenced by any of the observations, yes. having noticed the fact that the repetition, comma, out of which the instant letters patent appeal has arisen. Comma, that in the repetition period, comma, the petitioner sought to challenge the order passed by the Mamladar in the proceedings under Section 84, Capital C Please, my of the Please. Gujarat Tenancy and Agricultural Lands Act 1949. Comma, we do not find any error in the order passed by the learned single judge in relegating the petitioner, in dismissing the writ petition, while relegating the petitioner to avail appropriate statutory remedy under section 74 lordship. 74. Lordship would find six, in para 6.12, uh, Z53. Under section 74 Four. of filing a P before the collector. And further revision, comma in case, yeah, uh, collector revision. Full stop. The no dispute, full stop. No dispute could be raised that effective statutory remedy of appeal and revision against the order passed by the Mamlatar under Section 84, Capital C of the Tenancy Act, 1948 are available to the petition. First step. We therefore, this may, having a, we may further note that the learned single judge has clarified that the authority concerned shall decide the matter 
independently without being influenced by any of the observations made and the judgment impugned. First of all, for the aforesaid comma, appeal is found devoid of merits and hence All the appeals can be decided yes. together. They are by the common judgment. By common judgment. Common. All the correct. The this group of appeals have arisen out of the common judgment and order dated. Five six twenty twenty three passed by the learned single judge. Eighty six days. Eighty six days. All appeals are being dismissed, being devoid of means. Please, my last. Serial number 20, uh, Mr. P. M. Hurt. Turn it, come on. And who is before us? Yes. Please. When the appellant petitioner was cultivating the land of one Mr. Madhavaral Kacharabai of village Mansanagar, he made an application to mutate his name in the revenue record. You know. Accordingly, you know, the circle officer has passed an order mutating his name on the basis of the circular of the government of 1971. You know. At that point of time, the Kalati was making the mutation entry, but by way of the resolution of 1971, the uh, Mamladar or the Mahalgari uh, officer was to make an entry. And therefore, the circle officer has made an entry in the village revenue record. Now, the Prant officer, after verifying the record also, he certified the said entry. For, uh, that was in February 1995. But in April 1995, the original owner sold the land in question to the appellant petitioner by way of register sale date. When? On 5th April 95. <clears throat> hmm. so in May 1995, the additional Mamla passed an order declaring the appellant hmm. in May in 95, May? the uh, additional Mamla passed an order Declaring the appellant petitioner a tenant purchaser of the land in question. But since in the meantime, before one month the land was already sold, the Mamladar passed an order to regularize that uh, sale on payment of fine. That was paid also. In view of the regulation of the said order, the title certificate, ownership certificate was also issued 
to the appellant petitioner under section 32M in June 95. Well, after a period of two years or so, the deputy collector is cheated through motor proceedings. As to why this order of the learned Mamlatar. The Queen's in the year 1997. Yes, sir. On 15th May 1997. Mm. Mm. He questioned the order of the learned Mamlatar holding the petitioner as a tenant purchaser. Mm. He set aside that order of the Mamlatar mm. and demanded the matter for fresh consideration. Mm. Even after the title certificate under section 32, Ownership certificate was issued. Then also, after remand, the learned Mamrudar passed an order in 1998 to initiate the proceeding under section 63. Three. Both the uh, proceedings under section 32O and 63 are different. Bro. The Mamrudar had passed an order under 32O, declaring me as a team purchaser. And now the Mamrudar has said that you initiate the proceeding, whether you are an agriculturist or so they depart, my lord. After that, my lord, an appeal was filed by the appellant petitioner, my lord, against the order of the Mamladar, which was dismissed. You know, the vendor of the land in question filed an appeal, my lord, against the order of 1995 in 1999. The vendor's appeal is dismissed, Mirror. Even the vendor filed two appeals, separate appeals, RTS appeals, questioning the mutation entry, Mirror, which he withdrew. In 1999 and 2000, those documents are produced with the civil application for production of additional documents. Right. Now, my lord, the moment vendor failed in his attempt to question the mutation entry as well as the order of the Mamladar declaring me as a tenant purchaser, my lord, has attained finality to that extent, my lord. Three orders were in my favor, my lord. So surprisingly, my lord, a revision application was filed by the vendor before the learned GR team. I'm sorry, before the learned deputy collector. The revision application number 484 of 1998 is at annexer B. Page 22 to 28, below. That is filed by the appellant, below, against the order of the deputy collector. So, you mean to say that in Siumoto proceedings, authorities have decided in your favor? Yes. But in the appeal filed by the vendor, when uh, the appeal was dismissed, then he filed revision. And in revision, this inquiry was made. At and the, the third, third round of ratings. Huh, in impugned order is 1907-2006. Yes. By, by which tribunal held that yes. you are a non-agriculturalist. Yes. So the sale was bad. Yes. Now, whether first round, second round, three round, ultimately we have to see. Correct. Whether the sale is perfect or not. Yes. Right. Yes. So motor action was even taken in time. Yes. Now, what would the be the effect of the order passed by the tribunal? The land would waste with the state government. I agree, brother. Right. Correct. So vendor is not getting any benefit out of it. Yes. Now the, the issue is yes. that whatever you have dates you have given, only two months prior to the sale, you got an entry in the record that you are cultivating the land as cultivator. Yes. Hmm. Or as tenant. This concept of tenancy is not there. This is not the concept of tenancy. Tenancy is not, will not be created within two months, just two months prior to the sale. 
here and means there are two prior things. to prior to the sale there was no claim on your part that you are tenant of the land or you were cultivating yes right so your contention that since your name was recorded in the revenue records as a cultivator that gives you right to say that you are an agriculturist goes i am not saying so mirror mirror since i was then cultivating the land saying? since 3 years mirror therefore i made an application kindly mute my name mr counsel we are not on the question of mutation yes we are on the see 3 years 4 years is not going to give you any Very kind well, of tenancy right i understand right yes it from the facts itself it is evident that you this was a fraudulent sale you got your no, name mutated that is what the, that is single just found hmm. but i am saying this is what we uh, we also found no we not uh, in fact we not the mamla dar had passed and order annex section 32 o but if you are not an agriculture is how can you get tenure pardon me if you are not an agriculture but i am not claiming mr lord i am not then claiming when you become a tenant when my sale is regu regularized validity of section 32 o where is the question of 32 o when you are not a tenant no no but mamla dar had initially passed an order under section 32 o 32 o yes. can change for purchase for purchase to the tenant ha hmm. no, you are not a tenant 32 g With an application for purchase as a tenant of the land in question, and the 32M certificate is given to you. 32M certificate is given to you. Yes, ma'am, I am the owner. But there after, my lord, that so, government so, has accepted so, that order, my lord. So, Mr. Counsel, yes. this land was sold to you by whom? Five four ninety five. By the land original owner. So then, where is the question of original owner when you? Purchase this land under Section Thirty Two M. But the problem is the government has accepted. There cannot be two two per sale of one land. There is not two sales. See, on the one hand, you got a private sale deed. On the other hand, you say that there was a proceeding in which you got payment of by payment of purchase price, a sale deed was a purchase was effected under Section Thirty Five Thirty Two M. And you were recognized as a tenant yes. in occupation. Yes. Where is the occasion of these two proceedings separately? When was this thirty-two uh, M order is passed? No, before the mamla dar passed an order. Under when? Six... What is the date? Yes, I'm sorry. This thirty-two and thirty-two M proceeding. Yes. Lord, the mamla dar has passed an order on twenty-third May ninety-five. That is after the sale made by the Correct. original. So, they, Mr. Counsel, when you purchased this land, how could this proceeding under Section Thirty Two O be initiated? But you have purchased this land by way of sale. I have purchased in I the admit. month of April. There is a question of Thirty Two M certificate. But, but I admit, but because in the meantime the sale was already made, my lord. Therefore, under Section Eighty Four C Two, my lord, a fine was imposed upon me, and there I is the question of fine. But, But there is a provision under Section Eighty Four. No, for a non-agriculturalist, where is the question of? No, only I am saying my sale was recognized, Lord, and How? I am having How? the title certificate. Under which provision of law? I am not saying there that I am an agriculturist, be, Lord. There has to be some authority of law with the mamladar to recognize your sale. No, on the basis of the uh, circular of the government in nineteen seventy one. What seventy one circular was not there in ninety five. No, no, but I have an expert of that circulation. Mr. Counsel, we are not on thirty-two M and thirty-two O. That proceeding are completely farce. Those proceedings are only paperwork. They were in connivance with the revenue officials. No, that is not so. so yes, Mr. Counsel. No, no. What I am submitting, Mr. Lord, that once a sale deed was made, Mr. Lord. And immediately thereafter, the mamladar passed an order. Why would mamladar pass this order? On the basis of the, the entry. So, 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 Mr. Counsel. Yes. So, give legal effect to the sale deed, which is otherwise legal. If you are an agriculturalist, then sale deed was legal. No, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Because the sale deed was legal, I am given the title certificate, ownership certificate. You cannot be given. You got title by way of sale deed. But 
Where is the question of section no, 32? No, because the Mamlazar had passed an order, bro. That order could it not have be been passed. It could be as a deemed purchaser, that bro. Take, that could not have been passed. Where is the question of deemed purchaser? When it is passed, When bro. actual purchase is made already. But that has not been On the date bro. when... That By is anybody. The, that is the question which we are posing to us. We have to inquire everything. Correct, sir. But neither the government nor the vendor okay. has been out challenged. Okay, the hard land council for that. Proceed kindly, I said, bro. There are few points, you know. Huh? The jurisdiction of the division authority to entertain and pass an order at the behest of the vendor is totally against the settled principles of law in catena of judgments. You know, that vendor has no right because he has pocketed the money and he is indulged in the policy of dong in the major. You know. That is what the principle laid down since 1983, Milo. But he doesn't benefit again. The vendor doesn't benefit. No, no, no. He has not questioned Milo the sale also. He himself has withdrawn the second point is also. second point is second point is that the government has accepted the order of the learned Mamdadar after second demand. By which the learned Mamdadar has held that your sale is regularized on payment of fines. And even the certificate... Under which provision sale, this regularization made? 84 C2. Can you read the provision? Yes. If after unmarried, hmm. which is the provision where payment after payment of fine sale can can be regularized? It is, it is only in a case where the sale is made by the landlord to the tenant, which is not proved. The first proviso to subsection 2 of section 84C would not apply to you. You have not been proved to be a tenant of the land. This regularization order is also bad. Well, that has not been questioned by anybody. Milo. That, the is, government the has question. accepted, that is the question. But after my becoming the owner, hard land the, council for the. No, there is another point also. Hmm. The government has accepted that order. Hmm. Yes. <clears throat> and we have to start a proceeding under section 63, not questioning the validation order of my regulation. Below. There is a limitation. Below. In this limitation, proceedings have started. Oh, okay. hmm. This is complete fraud on the. Part of the petition. Well, I am not claiming that I am an agriculturist, Mr. Lord. Since you become a tenant, and you, if you are not an agriculturist, you cannot become a tenant. If you cannot become a tenant, then the purchase cannot be regularized by proviso to subsection two. No, I am not saying that I want to purchase any other land, Mr. Lord. After this order is passed, uh -huh. as an agriculturist, Mr. Lord. Hard, Since hard this is the only land, Mr. Lord, I am saying, Mr. Lord. Hard land council for the appellant and produce the, the record. The conduct of the vendor is also required to be seen. Pa produce the record. The instant letters patent appeal has arisen out of the judgment and order dated 7-10-2023 passed by the learned single judge wherein the order dated 19-7-2006 passed by the tribunal passed by the Gujarat Revenue Tribunal has been subjected to challenge. First of all, the petitioner, the 
learn counts the petitioner herein. The original petition, the appellant herein slash original petitioner claimed claim that he was cultivating the land of the original vendor since the year 1993 and his name was mutated in the revenue records as tenant slash cultivator in the year 1993-94 come aware after white registered CLD dated 5 4 1995 comma the petitioner had purchased the land in question namely survey number 1598 at measuring 7 at measuring 1 acre 34 guntas situated in the sim of mansa comma gandhi nagar First off, the contention is that the mutation entry pursuant to the sale deed was made and confirmed later. First off, in the meantime, an order dated 23-5-1995. In the meantime, Gandhiji. Another order. Sumoto proceedings under section 76 capital A of the Bombay Tenancy 76 76A? Yes. yes. No, Sumoto. 76A. Okay, 76A to revisional power. The Somoto proceedings under 84C are hmm. uh, Cancellation of the sale deed and violation of the that the Somoto proceeding kare. for holding the transfer to Somoto proceedings for violation of the provisions of Section 63 of the Tenancy Act 1948 was thereafter issued. Thereafter, initiated against the petitioner in the year 1996. 1996. And a revenue case number 112 slash 1996 was registered. First off, in the meantime, comma, the Mamlatar had confirmed the sale dated 5 4 1995 comma which was a private sale by passing an order dated 23 5 1995 comma holding that the sale was effected between landlord and tenant first off in the so motto proceedings in case revenue case number 112 of 9 slash 1996 initiated by the deputy collector comma mansa comma the matter was remanded back to the mamlatar by order dated 7 3 1998 holding that the transfer was illegal was section 63 with the further direction to initiate proceedings under Section 63 of the Tenancy Act, would that their Section 63 would not be there. First off, in Tenancy Appeal Number 80 slash 1988, preferred by the petition, comma, the Deputy Collector Gandhinagar had dismissed the order passed by the. The deputy collector, why deputy collector? Okay, sorry, it's a little bit wrong. The matter was remanded back. Full stop, the mamladar and ALT, why daughter dated 7 3 1988 order is by mamladar mm -hmm. In the tenancy appeal number 80 slash 98, preferred by the petitioner, the deputy collector Gandhi Nagar had Confirmed the order had 
confirm the order passed by Mamla Thar while dismissing the appeal on 10-11-1998. Revision was preferred wherein uh, the Gujarat Revenue Tribunal hmm, 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 Gujarat Revenue Tribunal has allowed the revision wide order dated 29-11-2000 and remitted the matter back to the Mamlata for fresh inquiry post up after remand by order dated 24-12-2002, Mamlata had restored the order dated 23-5-1995 confirming the sale between Sale being between having been having been having been taken place between the landlord and tenant. First off, it seems that the vendor had preferred an appeal against the order dated 24 12 2002 by, passed by the Mamlatar after remand, which was dismissed on 22 1 2004. First off, the impugned order dated 19-7-2006 has been passed on a revision application filed by the vendor, which was registered as TENBA capital number 52-2004. First off, the, on, the challenge, on the challenge before the learned single judge to the order passed by the Revenue Tribunal Committee is categorically a categorical finding has been recorded. It is categorically recorded that it was found. It was found that the petitioner with a view to become an agriculturalist has managed to enter his name in the revenue record as tenant so as to save the transaction of purchase from the rigors of Section 63 and 84C of the Tenancy Act with the help of the collector. First off, it was also noted by the learned single judge that the sale deed was executed by the son of the petitioner as part of attorney of the original owner slash vendor, comma, who had filed the appeal and revision comma, wherein order impugned dated 19-7-2006 was passed. First off, the learned single judge has thus found that from the fact that the son of the petitioner, the original petitioner herein, slash appellant herein, had executed the sale deed as a part of attorney clearly shows that the petitioner clearly reflects on the bona fide intention of the petition to acquire a right in the, in the land in question by fraudulent means. First off, with regard to the locus standard, Hmm. 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 We may further note that the tribunal, while passing the in the order impugned dated nineteen seven two thousand six, has also returned the same finding, noticing that the sale deed was executed by the son of the petitioner as a part of attorney of the original owner in order to circumvent the provisions of the Tenancy Act and the modus operandi adopted by the original petitioner to become an agriculturalist 
by entering his name in the right in the record as cultivator comma slash tenant shows that the entire sale transaction was fraudulent and without consideration first of para change bill we may further record that on the issue raised by the original petitioner with regard to locus standi of the vendor to challenge the order passed by the deputy collector and mamrata before the good, before the tribunal on the premise that once the land owner had executed the sale deed and pocketed the money as a sale consideration comma it was not open for him to challenge the sale transaction comma it was noted by the learned single judge that for the fact for the for the motors of purindi adopted by the original petition in getting the sale transaction dated 54 to 1995 and then seeking a permission thereof by getting an order in his favor from the mamlata confirming the sale void order dated 23 5 1995 are glaring facts comma which show that the petition who was otherwise a businessman had further had kare had projected himself had, otherwise a businessman comma got revenue entries of a tenant and an order dated 23 5 1995 for confirmation of sale as it between kare as pro, by kare by projecting him as by projecting it as a sale between landlord and tenant comma in connivance with the revenue officials first off from the above noted facts comma comma as recorded by the tribunal in the order impugned dated 19 7 and the learned single judge comma like from the from the comma correct we do not find any reason to interfere both the submissions made by the counsel for the appellant that about the jurisdiction of the revisional court revisional authority to entertain the revision filed by the vendor and the assertion that one sale was regularized by mamladar by daughter dated 23 5 with with payment of fine comma there was no occasion to initiate proceedings under section 663 of the tenancy act comma do not are are found to be without any substance comma having been dealt by the learned single judge in the order in question sir lord sir lord sir government has accepted that order mr okay. and i have been given 32m certificate also okay. the kariga the fact that the that the certificate under section 32m was also issued in favor of the petitioner would be of no help to the petitioner for the aforesaid findings reflected from the report for the aforesaid facts well, above noted facts the appeal is thus found devoid of merits and uses so my endeavor was that 842c you know second says that because the sale is not between the mr like, counsel therefore a fine was taken it was regularized fraud vitiates everything dekhiyega it is settled law 
that fraud vitiates every solemn act the proceedings which is an outcome any order kare any order passed in a proceeding which is an outcome of fraud cannot be sustained in the io for the above the re, the appeal is dismissed yes i'm obliged <laughs> otherwise you know, when the government has accepted on payment of regular ration there is no fraud 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 <laughs> very well sir it is up to the honorable this court. is the fraud otherwise my there is no intention as sir intention he is but uh, your son no why would you no do so many things no, no 160000 is for sale no no sir observe without any sale Burg price to whom to owner me not 160000 your price. son has executed sale deed we don't know What they have not written back, my lord. Owner has not written back to me. He executed the sale deed, your son. But my amount is being given to him, my lord. How? One lakh sixty. There is the proof. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> uh, in the uh, sale deed, it might be otherwise. Money is in air. No, it is not so. <laughs> If the owner comes and my, I will accept, my lord. Otherwise, my lord, he yeah. received the amount. Yeah. Of like. <laughs> कर दीजिए एक मैटर और कर लिया करना ट्वेंटी थ्री मिस्टर एस एन डिबेटिया मिसेस कल्पना के रावत प्लीज मैं लोग दिस इज अ पिटिशन चैलेंजिंग दी वैलिडिटी ऑफ द नोटिस अंडर वन फोर्टी एट एज वेल एज द कॉन्सिक्वेंशियल ऑर्डर on the ground of cross violation of the principles of natural justice so my lord my humble prayer is that that is the only ground matter should be restored back to the file of the respondent because we have not been given opportunity I opportunity will, I will of take what? my lords to those aspects that opportunity of what opportunity my lord in this wise that now it has become a faceless hmm. now with the faceless there are two things troubles Hmm. So what had happened that when the first two notices were issued for regular assessment, they were addressed to the uh, mail ID of the my tax consultant, and the section hmm. Hmm. tax. So you must be given his uh, address. Ad address. You must have been given his email for yes, any is, uh, email of the any tax consultant. Any transaction in the faceless assessment. So, you know, section two eighty two of the Income Tax Act requires that the notices have to be issued Mr. at the Mr. mail Kansi, ID. It doesn't say. The, it doesn't say that the notice should not be sent to the tax see not for the provision says that the notice is to be given to the assessee not here but the, it is duty of the assessee to provide an address by which notice can be served not here. right you gave an address on which there is a presumption that once notice is sent that, to that address but, it is served on you no no me not i'm there, there there is just some catch over here The first two notices, which were in accordance with the provisions of the law, they were issued to my, they were mailed to my the address of my tax consultant. Okay. I comply. Till twenty twenty two, all the notices were being issued to the tax consultant. Invariably, it has been complied or okay. adjournment sort or whatever action okay. has been taken. Then what happened? But thereafter, they started issuing at the some other email. Which has other email means that is of the SSC of good old days, but it has become inoperative by the service provider. How this how this mail came to the knowledge of the department? Yes, this was already mentioned in uh, earlier uh, registration as a subsidiary. It was mail registered ID. mail. You were required to inform. No, it was the a department. No, it was a department. Otherwise, also see, not to counsel. This not is only a notice. You can always file and reply and participate. 
but milo the procedures are not, not undertaken but milo this that service provided india.com had discontinued services all together so, so they, who who will who will intimate the department but milo, that I now have, this email is inoperative but but you know that that action i have taken as soon as this i came to my notice after the service no the, see lord you sir. know that this is a faceless assessment hmm. you yourself is responsible to give the addresses but milo the 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 mail have yes, to be yes what what do you say or who has it been sent on the the assessment order subsequently been passed in the 144 not only is it sent on the email but i took instructions well as from my officer well as it has been spent, sent by speed post it is there in the order sheet in fact the portal order sheet reflects speed post was also sent and over and above that well as with the aadhar card the pan card uh, which was like the phone number which was given messages are sent from this. no that is faceless assessment yes, work, works not. like this yes, that sir. you get every information 143 to mm. all intimation is given malots no. the order now the assessment order has become possibly it's of may 2023 then how the there is a question you can file a appeal is there there you can challenge that yes. the but notice was not served will not by what, what is the date of the assessment correct order? I I have sorry. NHD people. I have NHD. I'm sorry. Twenty six May. Even 2000... this argument you can take there. Twenty six May two thousand twenty three is the assessment order, Malas. Under one forty seven, read with one forty four. And subsequently, Malas, penalty orders are also issued. There as well, Malas, notices were issued, and subsequently. So there is a remedy of appeal. Uh, yes, Malas. There is appeal under. Uh, well, it's two fifty before the CIT appeals. Two fifty CIT. Yes. You go and you can take this uh, yes, argument of non-service of notice. Yes, may not may prove it may not that how there is non-service may not. Sorry. Let me first take my notes to this Ms. aspect. Mister, we are not interfering. No, may not that all the notices have been issued to some other email. Even otherwise, this these order which you are challenging. Not sure. This order is of May twenty twenty three. You have filed this. petition in the month of march 2024 we are not supposed you know, to that order that order was give by it was sort by physical okay. that may not i have nxt okay. the entire with the envelope also okay. when i came to know me not my lots would find at page 162 of my petition okay. you know you know may may only my request is this you know let us see 282 that section it provides that the mail has to be given at okay, the okay okay you can take all this ground in appeal before well, cit alternative remedy cit has a better uh, uh, jurisdiction than us you know very recently honorable uh, supreme court has said that it it is uh, the alternative remedy is not efficacious one has the, to be... we know that that there is no dispute about that fact we are not saying that or you know, alternative remedy but in... for the facts of the case we don't find that you know, we should not a single part. notice you know only 2 minutes may be given i will just take my notes to that a uh, page 22 of my petition all those notices i will take i will i have even annex the data from the department your my lord my lord page 22 chart may be seen that what they claim that they have been issued to me my lords may see the chart and then the the notice of hearing that is on 7223 that is item number 1 2 3 4 and fifth item from the top my lord now if i take my lords to page 155 let me take my lots to page 156 of my petition so all those notices and i have made an average let them make an affidavit with me lot that this has been served to me lordship may see on page 156 at the item number 3 ajay at india.com you know that services have been likhega the challenge in the instant you know only i am praying that it should be and in me not there is one please, other case please listen to our order as well the challenge in the instant petition is to the notices notice dated 26/5/2023 to the order correct what is the date of the order under But section 148 order is 26th may that is on page 21 under 148 no 14 no no that is the uh, must be prior to yes, this in in a moment is 147 uh, 147 uh, where is it yes minute Notice under one forty eight is ninth June two thousand twenty eight twenty one. One forty eight. Yes. Ninth June twenty one. And to the to the 
एंड द 14 आई एम सॉरी मनोज बट द ऑर्डर करिएगा ऑर्डर अंडर सेक्शन 148 ए ब्रैकेट डी इज 30th ऑगस्ट 22 30th ऑगस्ट 22 and what is this 26523 this is the uh, reassessment order for the 147 red with 144 but uh, come please come to page 7 okay acha sorry this is yes. ground yes okay well it's the 26 may 2023 order is at nh chair 8 page 20 now what is the prayer kya hmm. likh the only they they हाँ यस यस प्लीज गिविंग ऑल द डेट्स एंड नंबर्स लिखिए द चैलेंज इन द इंस्टेंट पिटिशन इज टू द ऑर्डर डेटेड ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑर्डर ऑफ री असेसमेंट डेटेड ट्वेंटी सिक्स फाइव टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री पास अंडर सेक्शन वन फोर्टी सेवन रेड विथ वन फोर्टी फोर एंड वन फोर्टी फोर बी कैपिटल बी फॉर Assessment year two thousand seventeen dash eighteen, comma, as also the demand notice, dated twenty six five two thousand three twenty three, under section one fifty six of the Income Tax Act. First of the the notice of penalty for penalty under section two seventy four. Red with two seventy one brackets capital A capital double capital A capital C under brackets one of the act issued on twenty six five twenty twenty three is also subject as also carry is also subject matter of challenge. First off, the basis of the challenge is to the notice under section one forty eight. And the order dated thirty one eight twenty twenty two, passed under section one forty eight capital A bracket T. Thirtieth August. Thirtieth August. Thirtieth August. Yes, ma'am. Thirty eight twenty twenty two, under section one forty eight capital A bracket capital A bracket T. Is that the notice under section one forty eight was not. served on the petitioner on a correct address <clears throat> on a correct email address not the contention is that the that in the faceless assessment procedure comma the petitioner faceless assessment comma the petitioner had given address of his tax consultant email address of a tax consultant which was being used by the department for serving the notices till the year 2022 first of however after 2022 comma the notice was sent notices were sent notice in question were sent on another email address of the petition which has been discontinued By the concern, by whom? By, by the India. concern, service provider. Service provider, India. dot com. First off, <laughs> the submission thus is that the service of notice on the email address of the petitioner cannot be petitioner S S C cannot be said to be effective service. First off, the validity of the order passed under section one forty four. One forty-seven, dated twenty-six five two thousand twenty-three, is comma thus to be seen by this court. First stop. It is argued that the alternative remedy of appeal before the commissioners of income tax, yes, ma'am. Brackets appeal is not will not be a bar. in a case where there is cat there are allegations of violations of principles of natural justice first of reliance is placed on the decisions of the apex court in so and so at kadhi to substantiate the set point first of
but court has taken a view you know let all with the aid of the above noted decisions comma it was argued hmm? that in fact the entire proceeding under section 148 capital a is illegal for my as much as there was no information suggesting escapement of income first of parajinsville be that as it may come up the fact remains that the assessment order dated 26 5 2023 passed under section 147 read with 144 and 144b <clears throat> is sought to be challenged in a repetition file in the month of march 2004 24 comma on the ground that no opportunity of hearing was granted at the stage of scrutiny at the stage of inquiry before passing the order dated 38-2022 under Section 148, capital A, bracket small d, of the Income Tax 1961. For so the sole basis of challenges, the notice sent on the email address, comma, admittedly provided by the petitioner associate to the department. First stop. Para at no point of time, comma, it, it could not be brought before us that at any point of time, comma, intimation has been given by the petitioner, associate to the department, that the said that the email address provided by him has been discontinued by the service provider. First of para even otherwise, comma. For the facts noted here and above that, it, nee, it, even otherwise, but it is further stated by Mr. Nikun, yeah? yes, Nikun Travel, Nikun Travel, an advocate appearing for the revenue, that the order dated 26 5 2023 has been sent to the petitioner through speed post. And the set information is uploaded. Yes, the notices are sent by speed post. Uh, I'm not aware about the status of oh. the order. All the notices prior there. No, that yeah. itself shows that it has not been yeah. served. I came to know from 164 pages there. Even otherwise, for the facts noted here, first of all, even otherwise, comma, it is pertinent to note that the petitioner has a statutory remedy of filing appeal before the commissioner of income taxes, tax yes. brackets appeal, comma, wherein inquiry with regard to violation of principles of natural justice, comma, for non-service of notice, upon, for not sending notice to the petitioner SSC at the correct address can be can can be made first of all after a period of almost May say, 10, 11 months ago 10 months and months after a period of almost 10 months comma we do not find of passing of the order of assessment we do not find any good ground to entertain this petition. First of Parajins, if the present petition is dismissed on the ground of alternative remedy, first of it is made clear that the, cons the appellate authority shall be under obligation to deal with the contentions, all contentions made by the petitioner herein, including the issue with regard to non-service of notice under section 148 And the order under section 148 without being influenced by any of and and it shall not be guided by any of the observations made here. Not only one one point I may point out that one section itself requires the notices to be sent at the address mentioned in return of income. 
because that is a statutory provision. And all notices earlier, I, I have annexed me not that material also. And not only my humble request is that the, the, uh, the delay in filing the appeal because I have not filed an appeal. This is therefore, a statutory the, appeal. Therefore, it should we be cannot condone the delay. Well, directions may be given to the appellate authority. Because we cannot condone the, Milot, This Milot, is a statutory Mr. appeal. Milot, our tribunal, our high court. And law is where the statute Milot. provides limitation. Milot, I can, in 226, we cannot data. extend the limitation. That our high court has taken consistently a view that, that is revenue, revenue ke is not, Milot, alternative remedy cannot be said that I, can, I can't approach my Lord's man. Not only humble request is that I may be taken up, I may be allowed to take all the all the objects regarding yes, validity yes. of the notice under one even kare, even, kare, even the validity of the notice. One forty-eight capital A D you know. That notice D, not yes, D D uh, D order yes, we have said we have said that notice and the order notice under section one forty eight and the order under section one forty eight A D D both order natural are, justice uh, natural yes, contention of nature because that justice. other other if that order doesn't go you cannot challenge that order but Manoj, my that friend, has to go on this case. my friend may also not bypass that statutory con uh, delay condonation which he will have to explain that is that is because he seeks to go on the mail have to we are not condoning the delay it should be looked up with sympathetically that only small observation mm -hmm. Ah, yes, we'll take up. But serial number 72. This is not the time for making an issue. No, I've just if been given reply. Priority. I've just been supplied with the reply by the state ah, so government. So I was requesting for time in that matter. Mm -hmm. Is it, it in priority? Was mentioning was over in the morning. Is it in priority? It is in 230 board. Okay. That's why. Right. So you can call out. 72. Mine is 72. Okay. 71, 72 is at the same. Both. In my matter, they have supplied the reply. In the okay. morning, after my mentioning was over at around 11 30 or so. That's it's why it's not on the prayer made by land. You are for the appellant? Yes. Sir. On the prayer made by land council for the appellant, the matter is posted after two, two weeks. Two weeks, my lord. Any date after two weeks to enable him to file a reply? I'm on. Okay. Hold the matter. Fourth of. Mm -hmm. Many dates you have, matters you have fixed on four. Nine, nine, nine. Distribution should be equal. That one, one thing. What is the bigger? 67 and 68, Mr. Mehul Sarat Shah's file, seek note, Mr. Chirag P. Patel. Means you were granted time. Achha, uh, you yeah, are for, for the respondent. Okay, there is a sick note of land council appearing for the appellant. 
First of it is pointed out that the order path dated 5-3-2024 has not been complied with till date. Mr. You are Mr. B.S. Patel. I am Chirag Patel. Mr. Chirag Patel, Chirag B. Patel, learn advocate for the respondent is present. It is pointed out that the order dated 5-3-2024 has not been complied with. First of we post the matter on such and such date, Kadiji, making it clear that in case the in case the order dated so and so is not complied by the next date fix, comma the court may proceed with the matter without granting further time. Date fixed. Fifteenth of. Eighty two and eighty three, Miss Arjuna Amin, Mr. Shashwat Shukla. The deposits are made under which order? Uh, first order is of uh, dated 4th of December 2018. And subsequent 50 order. 50% of the amount. Yes. 100% was deposited. Since there is a uh, shortfall in the amount deposited, the amount of the deposited interest. Uh, pursuant to the order of 26 7 2019, the in, uh, shortfall was deposited. And out of the no, there is an order which is 4 12 2018, yes. which says that 50% of the amount as ordered deserved to be adhered to, and accordingly the order remains the same. Yes. This means that okay, so disbursement 50% of disbursement. Okay, but since there was a shortfall in the amount deposited, uh, pursuant to the order, deposited. entire awarded amount. Yes. You have deposited because entire of 50 percent has already been dispersed also. So the remaining 50 percent may kind of be permitted to be withdrawn to the second mm -hmm. the party buyers. File an affidavit. This paper is not going to help you. If you want yes, us, paper. see, if you want us to modify this order, this would amount to modification of the previous order, which is 4 12 20, 2018. For that, you have to bring this settlement on record and joint file and joint affidavit. We will do that. Please, please, please. Whatever date you say, we'll fix. Uh, third week of April, there is a interest. Okay. Third week of April, too far. You have to file only a joint affidavit. Okay, fine. It's your choice. On 18th April? Uh, instead of 18th, may I request for some other date? I have some difficulty on 23rd? Please, sir. As prayed, put up on 23rd. Thank you. No, priority Tabi priority means start career. Recall priority. Priority matters number 24, 25, 27, 28, 31, supplementary board number 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. A.V. Shrajapati. Mm -hmm. Number 24.
इस प्रदेश को विलेज बढ़ाला तालु का सारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट बना सका था ये पोजेशन वाज टेकन वन टू थाउजेंड इलेवन द एडवांस कंपेंसेशन वाज पेड एंड देर आफ्टर दे हैव नॉट टेकन एनी दिस आर ऑल फ्रेश मैटर्स यस फ्रेश मैटर and uh, the same order will be 24 25 28 and the uh, middle number second is supplementary all these matters suggestion was taken in 2011 advance compensation is paid and no award is passed so order can be same in 24 25 28 and 2 since supplementary board two have you passed orders like this earlier have we brought any of them no the, that, the petitioner here We have been directed to take instruction. Seeks in to submit that the petitions here in brackets. Can you attend in number? Seek to submit that they have been disposed of the land of their agricultural lands, comma details of which has been given in paragraph three, capital A of the petition, comma by payment of advance compensation. At the time of taking possession, comma, for the purpose of project named as Medhala Minor Canal. Post of the copy of village form number seven by twelve, showing the ownership of the petitioners over the subject land has been appended as an extra A poly to the red petition. Post of file change. The contention is that. Even after a lapse of eleven years, comma neither land acquisition proceedings have been undertaken, nor compensation for the land in question has been determined or paid to the petitioners. Post of Miss M S dot Hethal Patel and A G P appearing for the state response, prays for and is granted two weeks time to seek instructions, three weeks curry to seek instructions and file a affidavit of the. district collector to bring on record comma the steps taken by the competent authority for acquisition of the land in question comma if utilized for the project stated above first of the notice of the repetition on behalf of respondents 3 4 And five also. One, three, four, and five. Except uh, the manager of the road number nine. Five, correct. One, three, four, and five shall be served in the office of the land government leader within forty-eight hours. That advance copy will be served. For all four, five. For for state of no. Will 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 serve. Will serve. Okay. Will serve. And the question to issue notice to respond number two shall be. Considered after the response of the collector is received. Let the collector file a reply. This is like, this should not happen. This is like in many matters. Let the collector, collector file. Let the collector file. Middle number twenty-five. Uh, the address should be name of the village and the canal name. You can name uh, of the village. Village is Pisgam. Uh, canal name Pisgam Minor Two Canal. Hmm. Then in twenty-eight. The village is Pisgam. And the we can check the village name and the project yes. canal. Okay, yes. in each case. Yes. So this would be and all acquisition are of the year two thousand eleven. Yes. After yes. payment of advance compensation, yes. these orders are to be passed in serial number. Note, carry. Twenty five. Hmm. Twenty eight. Hmm. And serial number two in supplementary board. Okay. What about the rest? Clear. So far as serial number twenty seven is concerned, where is section four? Six and nine is issued, and thereafter they have not done anything. So it left. No, it has to be done in court. The body is in court. Two nine four two nine.
it is sought to be submitted by same over section 11 no. it is the petitioners here in aggrieved by the fact that their lands have been acquired without adopting due process of law by pay they are same name same petitioners uh, all petitioners in every matters are same no their region name is same sometimes name is different but surname is same acquired for construction of Madka Minor Canal, comma, without adopting due process of law, comma, by payment of advance compensation only. Section 469 uh, yep. is of which year? Uh, page number 20. January 2013. Okay, it's, it is contended in the repetition that the petitioners have been dispossessed in the year 2011 by making of advance payment and initially acquisition notifications under section 4,6 and notice under section 9 were issued in the year 2013. Yes, ma'am. 14 or only 13? No. Uh, Two thousand thirteen. Two thousand thirteen, comma, but the acquisition proceedings which were in initiated subsequent to the disposition of the petitioners, comma, even have not to brought have not been brought to its logical end. Had not been it has not been brought to its logical end. First off, the fact remains that the petitioners have not received compensation. For the land in question, Ms. M. S. Dr. Hital Patil Karte. The village name and the canal name Thirty-one and thirty-two are same. Thirty-one, no, thirty-two is not mine. Uh, uh, there are the uh, thirty-one. Uh, section four and six is here. Section four, six th on thirty-one, right? Only section four and, four and six in the year. You should have kept all these in your notes. 2012. Instead of 13, 12. There's no section 9 in seal number 31. Okay, all right. This is 31? Yeah, this is 13. And that is one matter left. Serial number 1. Supplementary. Of supplementary, supplementary board. board. Where in only section 4 notification was. Page number 20. Same. Yes, 2011 same. disposition. Yes. You check the name uh, of the canal. Of, uh, in 2012, section 4. Yes. Section 4, 2012. 6 and 9 has not been issued. And disposition is of 2011. 2011. Pura thirty years. Twenty nine years. Twenty nine, thirty, twenty six. Thirty three. Call out twenty six also. All admission. Thirty three to finish Twenty six, Mr. K. M. Shet. Uh, Learned Government Video. Okay. Twenty six, twenty six, twenty six, twenty six, twenty six, twenty six. Hmm. When was this land acquired? The thing, the suggestion was taken first January 1980. 1990? The petitioner is agreed by the fact that statutory interest of 80 percent under Section 2013 Act has not been calculated nor paid to the petition in the award dated 2 12 2021 comma which was passed to legalize the disposition of the petitioner from the land in question in the year 1980 first off it is stated that the petition 
has been illegally dispossessed without adopting due process of law in the year 1980 and after much hue and cry comma the land acquisition proceedings were initiated there is there any order of this court in your favor after career after the directions issued by this court comma land acquisition proceedings though had been initiated under the 2013 act comma but statutory interest of 9% and 15% under section 80 has not been has not been granted first of miss ms dot hetal patel an advocate appearing for the learn agp appearing for the state mr krutik parik learn agp appearing for the state respondent state raised for an granted two weeks time to seek instructions the notice of the red petition shall be served in the office of the learn government leader on behalf of respondents 2 and 3 within 48 hours in all matters notice ka kar dijiye written instructions be or reply shall be placed before the court on the next day please 29 mr kaushal h patel on it commented yes acquisition is under which provision have you pleaded national highway what is your grievance the no award has been passed by the competent authority no award award under section 3g has not been passed it has not been passed the first between the competition under 3a and 3d is issued way back 3a and 3d of which year uh, was issued by the competent authority uh, uh 9/3/2018 the ca notification was issued by the uh, and 3d लिखिएगा द पिटिशन हियर इन इज अग्रीड बाय द फैक्ट दैट ऐसे करिए द प्रेजेंट पिटिशन हैज बीन फाइल विद द असर्शन दैट द अवार्ड अंडर सेक्शन 3G ऑफ द नेशनल हाईवेज एक्ट सो एंड सो 1956 has not been prepared has not been made till date though section 3a and 3d notifications for acquisition of the land in question were published in the year 2000 uh, on karega 93 2018 and 31 8 2018 colon respectively first off it is stated you have been dispossessed then there are the competent authority we have made constant there was a it is contended contended that initially the land in question was identified slash reserved for proposed development tp road dp road development plan road development plan road to be uh, to be uh, constructed by whom public road uh, corporation it was reserved for the development road which was been uh, the plan which was been placed by the uh, uh, development plan plan was submitted by whom by the area development authority wadina area development authority this was the constructions which were required to be made by them or by some other developer development uh, the local development authority has proposed uh, prepare the development plan of the whole area and send it to the state government for confirmation okay. but state government has in the kare in the development plan prepared by the local authority and the reason for non payment of compensation to the petitioner was the dispute between the development authority and the nhr 
purpose of the contention is that now the said issue has been resolved as the development plan proposed by the local authority has not been approved by the state government. First of the fact remains that the petition, you, you are in position. Uh, sorry, my, I may not be deep, but thereafter the Kala company. The fact remains that the award for the acquired land is required to be declared by the competent authority. One more. First of Thereafter, supplement authority is also part of supplementary draft number, but thereafter, by communicating a letter to the NSA, they suspended that draft number, and that draft number is also not final about it. Not it it is contended that at one stage, comma, the competent authority has prepared the draft award and forwarded it to NHR, but later kept it pending, and final shape has not been given to it till date. First off, the matter requires consideration. The copy of the notice be the copy of the reputation be given to the learn to Mr. Malik G. Nanavati, learn, learn pen and counsel operating for NHI within 48 hours, who shall complete his instructions by the next date fixed, learn AGP appearing for the state respondents, namely respond number one and three, shall also file his response first up let this matter be posted why have you completed this response number five by name you cannot implead an officer by name you have to delete there is no malafide you cannot plead malafide in such matters you first delete him at the outset comma Learn counsel for the petitioner, please, for and is granted permission to delete response number five from the area of parties. The written instructions shall be filed on the next date fixed by both the learn counsels appearing for the state respondents and NHR. After two weeks, you have to make corrections in the course of the day. Necessary corrections be made in during the course of the day. Same line, beginning. Okay, number 30, Mr. B. A. Patel. 30. 3-0. Thirty. Call out. He is not there. He is not there. Okay. Simply pass it over. Next. Thirty-three. Uh, Mr. D. A. Abhaya. Mr. Premal Raj. Well, uh, the 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 no list of the events, there is no further remedy. Well, this is an order passed in a civil appeal. No. The suit has been decreed. Civil appeal has been decided. There is no further appeal. No. Now, my lord, the Commercial suit has been decided ex parte. The suit has been decided by whom? By the uh, trial court. Commercial court. Commercial court. No. It, or my what category? Time, one month, seven months. Principal my civil judge or eight judge? Seven or eight days delay so far as the appearance Senior part is concerned. Senior civil judge. Senior civil judge. That is why appeal went to the uh, uh, district judge. Right. Uh, right. Now, my lord, may kindly see the suit at page one month seven. Well, considering any averment, what I will, uh, my lord, may kindly see any averment. Just a minute. May suggest. Just a minute. Lost. Section thirteen.
My Lord has examined this issue mm. in another matter, and uh, it was held that the second appeal is not maintainable, and it would lie. That was the Honorable Court's observation, my Lord. If I am not wrong, my Lord. My Lord, soon was presented before the trial for during the Corona period, my Lord. Under the this is covered under the judgment of the Honorable Apex Court so far as Corona period limitation part is concerned. Malo should claiming lump sum amount without any written agreement, no observation, right? So far as no prayer about the limitation, how the suit. Mr. Counsel, we are not deciding the. No, no we are not at the preliminary stage. For, you are challenging point the out decree. The heft, if there is a heft on the part of the trial for deciding the problem and not granting the time for. No doubt, we were Should in have delay. Been dismissed. We we were in delay. Now my Should lord, have been dismissed. Should have been dismissed. has been allowed ex parte. Okay. Without giving him a chance when we okay. appeared before the court. Okay. Then you file the appeal. My lord, we appeal, may file, appeal we, is filed by you. Appeal was filed by you. Appeal that is also dismissed. Confirm, confirm in appeal. My lord, my kindly is a question before this honorable court is. It is my case. Can you come to the order of the appellate court? We are in 227. We are not hearing appeal. Right? No, we are so, only. I am only. So, on, so on, on, please on, come on. to the order of the appellate court. Appellate court. Before, that is passed in your appeal? My lord. Hmm. My lord, my first, only, only one, only one facts I want to point out from the pleading only on that part, my lord, is when the summons was issued, Summons is not served. My first, my my grievance is. Mr. Counsel, will you come to the order passed in appeal? My lord, appeal, my lord, my lord. Appeal, my lord, will find the judgment at page ninety one in the reasoning part, my lord. My Lord, so far as this appeal is concerned, my grievance raised so far as the non-service of the summons at the given address Mr. is Kapsu, nowhere dealt with. This was an ex parte decree. Lordship, if on you the ground. If you had a case that summons were not served, Lordship. you could have exercised uh, the remedy under order uh 30 we, order pilot i moved the application which was rejected order 9 rule 13 order 9, order, 9, order, 9, order, 9 rule 13 9, 30, or recall I, of ex parte decree my lord i moved the application it was rejected there uh, then my then the issue on the ground then the, lord, then the issue with regard to service of summons is over now no no my lord may kindly see it is been raised in the appeal also my lord but your application under uh, order 9 to 13 has been decided on merits or not? My Lord, no uh, reasons are, uh, my Lord, may can the order. You are challenging order under order 9 to 13 also in appeal? Yes. No. No, not, no. I have ch challenged in appeal also, my Lord. Where? I, here, my Lord, may can see the... Now, please come to page 73 about notice. There is a finding. Lord Please read paragraph 23 of the judgment of the trial court, uh, Wait, appellate court. Appellate. Hmm. Where 27 number. Hmm. This is about service. Right? Lots it. Lots it. Lots it. The para now, paragraph 21 the, onwards. Please 21 read. 21 onwards. Hmm. I have considered submission and account. Don't read the, this paragraph. You can come to the next one. Learned advocate for the appellate has challenged the impugn order and decree mainly on the ground that the refund has never been served with the notice and therefore the entire trial had proceeded ex part. My Lord. Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. My Lord, ex, ex, entire trial has been passed ex part. My Lord. That is a now. It is submitted, notice was served in a fictitious address at Anja. Please don't explain, please read it. As such, any order passed on the basis of such 
fictitious service is not tenable in eye of law, uh, in the eye of law, and it is void ab initio. That is a. Please uh, proceed further. Don't perusal explain of every record. line. Perusal of the record mm -hmm. transpired that the plaintiff had issued the notice to the dependent and two address with Anjar and Amdava. The notice issued upon the dependent and Amdava is written with the endorsement that office, whereas it appears that the exhibit which is tracking the record of notice sent to the dependent and Anjar address that the dependent Pumijo were duly served with notice on 16 10 2000. Now I move further. Further. Now it is contention of the defendant that the notice served at Punjab was on a fictitious note, uh, not to the defendant, but I do not find any substance in the argument. The defendant himself has moved the application at the before London trial court when it has been clear that he received the sum summons for the first time through the watchman dispatch. That is a um, facts. This admission on behalf of the respondent itself suggests that the notice was sought on correct act. Now, my Lord McKinley, the, uh, that application itself says that we have received the knowledge, Exhibit 35, and on next day we are appearing before this. On, on 24th, we received the knowledge of the summons. 25th, we are applying for time, condonation of the delay, and permitting him to appear on, on the next Day. On that, that day, when the application for hearing was fixed before the Honorable Court, true, the notice has been served at the place where my there is no office. My office address was known to the plaintiff. He had collected the, all the dues from my office, from the not in the Amdavar um, address shown by them, but another address. Which I have shown you. The difficulty is that you have so many address. No, my love. No. <laughs> my love, I have, my love, I have no office in Anjar. Anjar, my love. It has been sold. Now, postal office. Now, my lord, mechanics. I am only for a few days delay for the, no doubt, exercising the discretionary jurisdiction See, of this trial court. And this ultimately, office. you received notice on 24th. Whatever, 24, 25th. Well, like 25th, I am appearing. I am not permitted to leave. the trial court. Ah, before the trial court, I am appearing on the 25th itself. In 1610, he appears on 25 November. 1610, 21 is the observation. By and what is the date of the order of the trial court? 29th November. 29th November. My Lord make a list of 16 You appeared on 25th November. 25th November before the order is passed. Right. And then on 29th November, order was passed. Order was passed. Which year? Which year? <laughs> My Lord make a list. No. 21. 21. I am sorry. 21. 21. Same year. Same year, few days, only within few days. Then notice, what happened? My Lord, then what happened? My Lord, notice was issued on 7th. You day. appeared, then what happened? My Lord, my application was rejected on the ground because, my Lord, first my Lord, my Lord, the chronology. You could have argued, you you wanted time to file written statement. Uh, just, that was not uh, accepted because you received notice in November, in October. And you had appeared in November no. after one month. My so Lord the court Kalisi refused to grant you time to file written statement. You could have argued the matter. My Lord, I did make the application. All the three applications were made. made of, Sir, we are appearing. We may be given some time to answer. That is the difficulty. Giving time to answer is a difficulty. My Lord, my Lord McAllen is, is the date and event. 7th October. 21 notice was issued. It is the assertion of the other side. It was served on 17 10 16, 2021. 10. It is the assertion. That is a place. You have not been able to displace that. My Lord, you, you have not been able to displace that. You have not been able to say that the address at which the notice was served on 16 10 2021 was not your address. Yes, I have said the wrong so. address. My Lord, I have said so in my application. It is my application. You don't say. You accept that watchman. No, 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 no. My Lord, my Kailishit, I have... On the same, Mr. Kamsin, how can you say so? 
on the same address you received notice no i am not on 25th according to you oh. you have put in appearance on 25th november oh. when have you received notice and at what address? oh intimation i have received the intimation through my watchman oh okay. your watchman knew that the case was going on my lord my carelessly my lord your my... watchman said that some case some notice no, came no these are the paper or my... some case is going on in my commercial lord, court you respect my lord my carelessly the application my my application Arre, what did you who told you that case is pending who told you about the case how you could lord, appear I... in the court on I... 25th on 24th i received the information from whom from my watchman F watchman knew that the case was going on no no then, i i verified on 24th on the board nee why would you ask why would you go there my lord yes. whether you got dreams that the case is going on now my lord my lord make any see for that story my lord my lord make any see mr counsel please we are not making any kind of joke here we are serious about i am because i am laughing that doesn't mean that we are joking so simple thing is very fact a simple fact is that you yourself say that you appeared before the trial court on 25th of november 2021 right notice was issued on 7th of october 2021 no. correct now you say that the notice was not sent at the correct address no, that is also correct now we are asking you to answer as to how you could appear on 25th when notice was not served to you my lord when at the correct address my lord when we received the paper on 24 how how newspaper my lord it was my my, my lord my carelessly so summons you received no summons from whom my lord my carelessly summons we have not received my lord my carelessly then what did you receive now my lord my carelessly the summons issued well, the address of the summons Address. Mr. Mr. Counsel, please don't uh, digress from the question which we are asking you. Lord Chief, please give straight answer to the question which we have asked. Lord Chief, you said that you appeared on twenty fifth. Who gave you information about the pendency of the case? My How Lord. did you appear on twenty fifth? My Lord, my Kailash, I have received some paper from from my... whom? By my chokidar, ex chokidar. Why would your chokidar give some paper? My lord, my kelly. What is the place? My lord, page one thirty seven. Okay, lord, okay, all right. Now come to the next. Next. My, only my. Now lord. we have understood what you are trying to say. Now, now come lord, to the next. Next point. Only my lord, my kelly. Permit me to Kali read the Kali. Only summons at page one thirty seven. Sorry, Mr. Kang. Only, only. We are next. not permitting you to do that. Please come forward. We are in two twenty seven. We are not deciding the first appeal. No, my my lord, I am not. Now on, come to the I next point. I am on point. mercy of the situations. Mr. Counsel, of... come to the next point. Next point is my lord. When I bought the application <laughs> to grant some that time. we understood that time it was not grant granted by the time. trial court. Some trial time. court did not grant you time. Now come to the merits of the case. Now merit of the case. My my merit. Of you the have case. filed appeal. Your appeal is dismissed after grant of opportunity of hearing to you. This in appeal you were heard. Now please tell. My lord, appeal is not decided so far. Suit, my lord, my kindly see. Just my lord, my, so far appeal is concerned. My lord, my kindly see. Paragraph. When suit is filed under order thirty seven without Mr. any Counsel, contract. Please come to your next point. My my first, my lord, first point is so far as the service of this month. That we we have understood. No. Now come Therefore, to the next point. No, my my second. When suit itself do not disclose the cause of action, when the suit is filed under Order Thirty Seven Rule, under Order Seven, without asserting any affidavit or any document as to the uh, maintainability of the suit, as per the Commercial Court Act, and without affidavit, which is required a mandatory requirement of the suit. Under the law, in absence of that proceeding, without any prayer or any contention about the written contract, whether such suit, when I am saying such suit was not maintainable, it is without jurisdiction of the court. Under the Commercial Court, it must be within the parameters of the Commercial Court Act. If that is a suit is not in that parameter. The order passed under the suit is without jurisdiction in person. My Lord, may I say this? 
then my love feeding in the suit itself my lord just only for perusal only for my lord may kindly see 117 page 117 and provisions of the lord the as per the law laid down by this honorable court that not a single argument you have made before the appellate court that is now please come to paragraph 25 paragraph 25 the second contention raised by the honorable appellate could be made application only when it is written contract in the present case no written contract has been produced on record and therefore well that is our right now please read 26 in the case of punjab pen house in delhi also had held Therefore, the ground is supplied through in bill of contents the condition duly agreed as between the parties. There is no escape from conclusion. My love, so your answer to the written contract is here in yes, paragraph twenty-five, twenty-six, and twenty-seven. My love, this this must be. You don't, be, you don't dispute the that uh, there was a sale purchase. You my don't love. dispute that this invoices no, were received by you. No, it is my case that I already okay, paid all the dues in a summary And suit. Now, my lord, may I give you third? Challenging the ex parte decree. My Come only on. my, one one. The petitioner here in file. My only I, I may cite only two judgments of the before court. the principal. I may be heard only on that part, my my lord. So far as namely this, commercial appeal number nine of two thousand twenty four, which has just which has been dismissed by the judgment and order dated twenty four January twenty four one third third one. Would my lord will see twenty twenty four, noticing that the petition that despite having due knowledge, despite receiving, despite having received the summons, notice on sixteen slash notice on sixteen ten twenty twenty one, comma, the petitioner did not participate in the proceedings before. The trial court. Post stop. It is sought to be to assail the said finding, comma. It is sought to be submitted by land counsel for the petitioner that the petitioner got information about the pendency of the suit on twenty four eleven twenty twenty one, and he had appeared before the trial court by moving an application seeking time. to file the written state file his defense comma but no leave to defend was defense defend was granted by the trial court first of the submission thus is that well, passing okay. of ex parte decree on 29 11 okay. 2021 by the trial court is A, a result of illegal proceedings conducted by it. First up, taking note of the above submission, comma, we may record that the present proceeding is a summary proceeding. Comma, it is an admitted fact of the matter that the petitioner got information to about the pendency of the suit slash notice. On twenty four eleven two thousand twenty one, and as per own case of the petitioner, comma he had appeared before the trial court on twenty five eleven twenty twenty one one upper twenty four eleven upper. It's just super twenty four eleven and appeared on twenty five eleven twenty twenty one. First up, the suit was the appeal was filed by the. Petitioner slash defendant in the summary suit, but no defence, no point of defence as recorded in the order of the appellate court could be brought before it. First up, it is recorded by the appellate court that. the object and the object underlying the summary procedure is to prevent unreasonable obstruction by the defendant who has no defense 
and to assist expeditious disposal of cases. Most of the essence of summary suit is that the defendant is not, comma, as in ordinary suit, comma, entitled as of right to defend the suit. Most of he must apply for leave to defend within the prescribed period, brackets, is stipulated of 10 days. Most of such leave will be granted only if the affidavit filed by the defendant discloses such facts as will make it incumbent upon the plaintiff to prove consideration or such other facts as the court may deem fit. First off, in the instant case, comma, as recorded by the appellate court, that the defendant is not entitled to leave to defend the suit as a matter of right, and he has not been able to satisfy the court about the goodness of his defense. First off, Would my lord as, be... as the plaintiff, the the as in absence of in absence of any substantial defense on any tribal issue, comma, there was no question of grant of leave to defend to the petitioner to the defendant slash petitioner hearing, more so when he did not participate and when he, more so when he avoided the proceedings of the summary suit comma as admittedly the notice the tracking uh, as as it is admitted in as it is noted by the appellate court that from exhibit 11 which is tracking record of the notice sent to the defendant at Anjar address, comma. The defendant was duly served with the notice on 16 10 2021. No, it is not served at Anjar, my lord. Tracking report says served at Madhapur, another Pustav place. Kariga. My lord, uh, I can see. Further, Kariga, we may further record that on appointed query made by the court as to how the defendant, the petitioner slash defendant came to know about the pendency of the proceeding, pendency of the suit on 24-11-2021, comma, when he himself appeared before the trial court on 25-11-2021, comma, yeah, which propelled him, which propelled him to appear before the trial court on 25-11-2021, comma, prior to the decree of the suit, Decree passed in the suit on 29-11-2021, no plausible answer could be given. First up, only this was much was stated that the petitioner had received certain papers from the watchman and hence came to know about the proceeding, suit proceeding on 24-11-2021. Yeah, says that he received this information from some leader. Stop. Well this, this statement made at the bar by a counsel for the opponent is without any substance and cannot be accepted as it is difficult to understand except that the watchman he has done it, as it is difficult to accept that without service of notice at the address of the petitioner, comma, how watchman could provide him certain papers, as stated. First up in paragraph, the appellate court has also recorded, re re returned a finding that from the statement of the appellant slash defendant slash petitioner herein that he received the summons for the first time through the watchman inverted commas mekariga he watchman comma the fact that the notice was served at the correct address was admitted 
first off, para change the. In so far as the second contention of learned counsel for the petitioner that they did not exist any written contract, and for the vague assertions in the suit, comma it could not have been decreed, comma we may record. We may take note of the findings returned in paragraph 25, 26, 27, and 28 of the order passed by the appellate court. First of all, for the findings returned therein about the transactions between the parties, comma, the detailed invoices produced by the plaintiff comma, it is not possible for us to take any exception to the said fine. For stop even otherwise, comma, in the extraordinary, in the, in exercise of extraordinary supervisory jurisdiction under Article 227 of the Constitution of India, comma, it is not permissible for us to make any inquiry like a court of appeal. First of the findings returned by the trial court as also the appellate court as found to be cannot carry, cannot be said to be perverse, comma, suffering from any material irregularity, illegality, carry, much less irregularity. My Lord, yes. my only just only we therefore the do not order find 13, a fit case amended order fair, 13 rule 1 the rule petition, 2 the now, pre present petition under article 227 of the constitution of india is accordingly my Lord, rejected amended Dismissed. rule 13 yeah, no. rule 4 2 only only one mid only one mid mile. The reference to the judgment dated so and so is here is misplaced. My Lord, only only order thirteen A amended order thirteen rule four two rule four two even on the date of hearing on the day when I appear where a hearing for summary judgment is fixed on that day I appear. My Lord, the respondent. You were required to produce. A, this was a summary suit. You Man, could have my Lord, my given your leave. This is, the, this is the that provides against the chance of giving the notice. My Lord, my Mr. Mr. Counsel, you may give a, uh, show us so many judgments. We don't dispute that. The law, position of law is clear. But you must have some substantial defense. Which defense you could not put up before the appellate court itself. Even in the appellate court where you were appearing, you were challenging the, that was your appeal, you were challenging the decree of summary suit, then you were required to put up a defense as to why the suit cannot be decreed. You only said two things, that notice was not served, second, that there was no written contract, both have been dealt with. No, my lord, it is mistake on okay. my part and my lord no. We are not my... going to correct the mistake. No, no, we are in two twenty. My lord, my can is the order for only order thirteen A four, which provides additional chance of the summon. That now amended rule. All that right. stage is over now, Mr. Khan. No, no, my lord, only just only my lord may pass. Only only if Mr. Counsel, please keep it in mind. Lord, this is a not a regular suit. My this lord, is a I summary lord, suit. My lord, in a summary suit itself, my lord, order 13A amended provides. Mr. Counsel, you have not denied the transaction as on date. My lord, I you cannot denied, argue that. In my appeal, I have denied not a single amount is paid, okay. payable. Not saying, paid. saying that is not enough. My lord, the question is about lord, delivery of goods. I have paid by check. I have okay. paid by check also. Okay. That is only my Lord mechanic, only for only for my satisfaction. Mr. Counsel, we have seen everything. Please. Only for two. Every argument is not to be dealt with. My Lord, only only for two, my Lord mechanic. If one like we understood what you are trying to say. Hearing for someone she speaks, the respondent must be given at least 30 days notice of. Mr. Counsel, this is a summary suit. Summary suit. Mm -hmm. In summary suit itself, this is the part. Amendment thirty made days. The, uh, amendment made in the, uh, the CPC itself, my lord. Order thirty 
13a amended provide further provides that there okay all right we have heard you i am sorry madam i am oblig great rest of the priority le lijiye अर्पित कौशल पंड्या and with the town planning act <coughs> the uh, basic grievous was mm -hmm. that on an earlier uh, occasion when i came before the report Uh, upon their issuance of notice to me uh, under section 68 uh, uh, the uh, the the uh, the authority uh, declared before the on a solemn statement before the court that we are not proceeding with this notice any at all we wish to uh, do anything we will issue a fresh notice hear you and then pass appropriate order on that submission the petition was uh, got disposed of. thereafter nothing was done No notice at all, and statement came for the uh, uh, to my premises for the purpose of demolition. That was an occasion for me to file a new new petition that has come to be uh, dismissed, uh, where this specific point was raised by me for the learned single judge, but unfortunately has not been dealt with in the Indian judge. This is one of the basic uh, thing which arises in the matter. Sir. Apart from the fact that there was a material variation in the from the draft scheme to the preliminary scheme. Apart from the fact that the section fifty eight requires notice to be given to occupiers, those things are uh, uh, apart uh, on things as regards merits. So this is scheme is uh, this town planning is scheme is finalized now. The preliminary scheme is sanctioned. Preliminary sanctioned. But when? I'm sorry. Eighteen. When when was preliminary sanctioned? Eighteenth May two thousand twelve. What is your difficulty? Difficulty is this. <clears throat> can can you look at not the uh, uh, what problem you are facing? Yes. Why are you challenging this? Yes. No, can you? You are challenging preliminary scheme. I am I am challenging the material variation from the draft scheme to the preliminary scheme. Page sixty eight. Can you look at not their map? Material variation. Page sixty eight is the. How are you prejudiced by that variation? May the road has ingress road the, has shifted at a distance. It is shifted at a long distance. Where is only green? That is uh, that is uh, <laughs> affecting me. <laughs> it is not. It is not. And you know, ultimately, Some, ha, see, you, know, you they, have to take a route. Uh, that's all. <laughs> It is that not, cannot be a reason for challenging no, the draft scheme. Exactly, I mean, they give it. It is not within our domain oh, yes, yes, to yes. decide that the exactly. road should be here, or exactly. it should be there, no, there, or it should not be there. It should be here. Yes, that is exactly what I am saying. Is that ultimately it is for the authority to hear me on that aspect, and if they say they are satisfied that this, uh, all right, they issued me a notice. Can you look at page seventy one? What issued, is the date of notice? Yes, can you look at page seventy one? What is the date of notice? Date of the notice. Uh, which was issued to me was ten five two thousand nineteen. Ten five two thousand nineteen means the notice which was given to me. What was the notice for? Notice was under section sixty eight under the down planning act for the purpose. That of was not it. for hearing. That was for the purpose of taking positions. No, no, I'm sorry. It is now it has been settled by the Honourable Supreme Court that even sixty eight also requires some uh, hearing etc. Not that Babu has been. But now, no, what I'm indicating is that this notice was there. I what was the content of the notice? Content of the okay, uh, that uh, content of the notice is that uh, you do not have any right to uh, acquire this property in question. You have to vacate it. With otherwise, we have to um, 
court so the notice was for vacation yes. or else they will evict you yes this notice for this notice is of 2019 i came before this court on right. the right. earlier on vacation challenging this right. notice now action under this notice. okay not uh, when they, when i came before the okay court, all right even we are granting you hearing now tell us what how are you prejudiced no no thank you we are granting you hearing. They have not granted you your opportunity. We are granting you. <laughs> Tell us they, they, how I... how are you prejudiced? <laughs> See, it's it's a town planning. It, it's in a town planning. There may be variations. Yes. There are many considerations which are needed for variations. Now, now once these variations are done and state has approved it, those variations are approved with the sanction of the preliminary scheme. No, nothing is to be seen. No, no, that, that is why I'm not section 52. Yeah, this is only an eviction notice. Yes, yes. But the uh, town planning scheme is finalized. Preliminary scheme is sanctioned in the year 2012. Yes. Yeah. No, no, for for all not, for all more than uh, not do 12 years. We are not doing this. Any, <laughs> almost 12 years have no, passed. But, you know, but, uh, supposing they sanctioned in 2012. For 2019, seven years. They do not do anything. They cannot do anything. The, there are many people like you no, in the courts. They, they, How will this? This is this is the this they, they is the this is the fate of town planning scheme. No, no, therefore, no, can you look at page seventy one, seventy seven, page seventy seven. Now, please come to paragraph four point one of the order. Page seven. Hmm. 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 I just wanted this. Maybe. You are you are agreed by a by a blocking of the road in a plot which belongs to corporation. No, no. no definitely yes. Please come to paragraph yes, nine. I am I am not disputing that. I am saying. Then where is the question of hearing? No, no. It is not. It is, it is their plot. Occupier. No, you you were not occupier. occupier. You were you were only passing through yes, it. Definitely. You My had right. no, there was no road, there was no right. No, there was, a, there was no right. right to passage. What kind of right? right to passage. No, sorry. Go and file a suit for easementary right no, no. before the uh, court, no, that is why, civil court. No, that is why the wordings, not, no, there are different wordings under the town running. Under the town running, some, of, some wordings are for, uh, giving, well, you, uh, you hearing the owner, some wordings are hearing the occupier. But can you look at you that? are not the occupier even. Occupier you have no right, right to object to the town planning scheme. No, that is why I'm kindly look at the wordings of that notice. It says that your right, okay. whatever your right. Likhega. No, kindly. No, kindly. No, no, this cannot. After this, we are not going to give you <laughs> further time. No, what this is too much. No, otherwise, no, I would this not is have... like this is too much. I, I would not have not even got Sorry. the earlier round. Of Please read paragraph nine of the judgment of the learned single judge. Yes, but we are in appeal. Yes, therefore, not this. Contention was specifically raised by me before the learning thing. Because you're having, having page 10, page 3 below, page 3 below. But just, this, this is not the manner in which the authorities would not, if I may no, say. No, no, this is not the manner in which you should behave. No, but, you means the petition. No, but I. Not you. I, I, yes, yes, I understand that. Mm -hmm. I, what I'm indicating is this. So kindly, kindly allow me to read only page 77. Our court's order now. Would it, page 77. This is the judicial order passed by. You may read whatever you want to re read. We are not going to do anything. I, I, let we me, are clear let about me, it. Let me make an effort. Page 77. Page 77. No, 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 please. This, this you are in appeal. That's why mm -hmm. this point is not even dealt with. Now, now we are dealing with it. So therefore, mm -hmm. therefore not, it is, therefore the not instant, the the not instant intra. Try to convince for the first time now. You, this is not your property. There was no road. No, this, so there, was, okay, there was a road, page 76. Can you look at page 68? Their, their own document. Their own document. Okay, all right. Can you come to the findings in paragraph 9? I'll, I'll read that. I'll read that. We are in appeal. Yes. I'll if you are not bring, uh, putting up the findings, well, how will this we decide? Uh, page number, number 42. Z2. Paragraph number 9. Z2. Paragraph. Z2. I'll read that. I'll read that. <coughs> there, paragraph 9. Even otherwise. Hmm. What is evident is that there appears to be no no substantial variation as canvas by Mr. Sohan. Now it is no, pausing here for a moment. I may be permitted to pause. It is for the authority. Read but, paragraph seven also. Yes, very. 
what is evident from uh, from reading form number F in the context of original plot number 13 and original plot number 14 is that the prayer of the petition in the context of original plot number 13, the evidence yes. of the is conceived as the plot admittedly does not belong to the petition. The state form F is reproduced as under. It is produced, reproduced. 17 is for the SMC, the corporation. Uh, and 18 is for cattle breeding. This yes. plot, the road road is being carved out from this plot. Yes, yes, yes. It was, he was using this plot. Yes. Open you have purpose. reserved this plot for uh, school. School purpose. Now, that is the evidence having noted one. the fact. <laughs> The, 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 the instant Mr. Mr. Senior Council. Well, just last, last two minutes. Okay, I, okay. Last two minutes. Not, okay. I, will, I understand my okay. predicament. Okay. Uh, page, page 68, you know, this would uh, indicate as to what, what has been done. This is the part plan of the scheme. See, you are not, we are on the basic I, question. But I fully understand that uh, uh, lot number th uh, 13. You are in a difficulty. Come with a better case. <laughs> <laughs> difficulty, yes. yes. I started with the best point which was available to me. Which I we know to. that this is the job of a senior counsel. <laughs> Look, I heard. Mr. Sensor, learn senior counsel appearing for the British, for the appellant. This. Intra court appeal is directed against the judgment and order dated 5 1 2022, passed by the learned single judge in dismissing the repetition, raising a challenge to the variation in the town planning scheme, comma, which took place between before preparation of the preliminary scheme. Full stop. It is contended by a learned senior counsel appearing for the petitioner for the appellant that there was material variation from the draft scheme and the petitioner was not heard at that uh, before career, before preparation of preliminary scheme was stop even notice under section 68 even after notice under section 68 was served on the petition, dated 10 5 2019 was served on the petition. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. But the notice in tune is not under 68, it is under 67. It is 67. Exchange of 67. It is 67. 67. For, for? For exchange of position. Exchange owner, of position. Yes. So it is owner to owner. The original owner will get final plot, then final plot. But this, no. he is not the owner. He is not. But that is then the, how notice was served on him? It was my mistake. That's why I have written the order. Never, 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 never a contention. Never 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 not my mistake, corporation. I I That's why it was. It is correct. It is. Even, 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 after, even after notice, no, notice dated 10-5-2019 was served on the petition. Comma, when the petitioner came to this court in the previous round by filing special civil application number 9682 of 2019, comma, a statement was made before the writ court that opportunity of hearing was granted to the petition. If the notice will be. Comma, however, be however, no opportunity was granted to the petitioner till date. Stop. As a result, uh, were granted thereafter. As a result of it, comma, the petitioner was constrained to file a red petition, uh, another red petition which was registered as special out of his career, another red petition with the relief that the respondents be restrained from causing demolition in and upon survey number land bearing survey number 17, original plot number 13, as per the sanctioned preliminary scheme, number 3024, brackets tunky, T-U-N-K-I, bracket close, comma, final plot, plot number 22, comma, 28 and 29, comma, Katra Gam Surat. Pusso. The contention is that the said repetition has been dismissed by the learned single judge without adverting to the fact that even at the stage of eviction under Section 68 of the Town Planning Act 1976, the owner or occupier of the land in question 
is entitled to hearing by serving a notice upon him. First off, the entire premise, entire crux, the entire premise of submission of land senior counsel appearing for the petitioner is that as no opportunity has been granted to the petitioner to assail the variation in the scheme, in the town planning scheme, which has resulted in shifting of an excess road to another plot to at a distance career, comma, the preliminary scheme with respect to survey number 17, original plot number 13, comma, final plot number 22, comma, 28 and 29, in the scheme in in town planning scheme number 24 brackets 10 key comma cannot be given effect first of this submission is found misconceived for the simple reason that the findings returned by the learned single judge that the petitioner has no right title or interest in the land in question namely revenue survey number 13 original no plot number sorry revenue survey number 17 brackets original plot number 13 comma, does not belong to the petition. First off, as regards the variation is concerned, comma, from the findings returned by the learned single judge, comma, we may note that the aforesaid lot belongs to the corporation and was kept for cattle breeding, comma, which has been now reserved for School, school yes, uh, for a primary point. school, for, to but, construct a primary school in the Town planning scheme. As well as uh, office building of corporation. Mm. Town, uh, uh, school and office and building for office, comma, in the town planning scheme, comma, which was sanctioned on 18 5 2012. First off, para change bill. As the findings, in view of the findings returned by the learned single judge, as noted here in above. We do not find it a fit case for interference. The appeal is dismissed accordingly. Please, last week, please. Last week, please. Last week, please. Look here, the prayer made by Learn Council for Learn Senior Council for the petitioner to continue the interim status relief, quo. the status quo order granted in the instant, in the instant appeal. LP. Yes. Instant appeal. Is hereby rejected. Much for a career for a some reasonable period of time is hereby rejected. Now that the matter is over, I could notice that this yes, we said that it is for the building of the corporation. So this register. Correct, no. <laughs> but they need they need the space for building. See, there is so much dearth of space for office. Every uh, or every establishment is facing crunch. So we are also facing crunch. <laughs> so Please. we know that they need this. And you are you are interrupting construction of school. Which is not permitted. But I indicated that Lord, their statement will be petition. You should have given your land for the school. <laughs> it is just a way. <clears throat> in fact, in the new that, new that, in old in old days, people behave, behave like this only. Every open plot was their own. Next. That is very good. Old days, there were a lot of litigations of easement. <laughs> lot of litigation. Lot of litigation. Lot of litigation. Because <coughs> Hava, Pani, everything was there. Every piece of land was people's property. And not everyone's. Few people who are living nearby. Yes, please. <laughs> please, I am obliged. Oblige. Seventy-one and seventy-two at the note
73, uh, Mr. Nishit A. Palodi, Mr. Hamesh Naidu, Learner Commission. He's not here. 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 He's not Senior Advocate, Mr. H.S. Munshil. I propose my Lord's last order. It was ordered extensively. If it, if it was ordered to be filed by the Secretary, Editions, Chief Secretary, they filed an affidavit because I am in receipt of the receipt. I need some time to... You need some it. time to yes. answer that? Yes. As prayed by Learn, see, counsel, learn counsel appearing for the petition. Appellant. Appellant. Appellant, the matter is posted on date, Kadish. To enable him to file a reply to the affidavit filed on behalf of the state response. Sixteenth of sixteenth April is fine. Seventy five, Mr. Nisar. Gravelist by Limut, Mr. Meek Thakkar, Mr. Dakshesh Mehta. You can put it to rest. Our agenda was what happened at this point. There was an international arbitration. The award was challenged before the district court in Jamaica. In Kutch. Manoj, the other side filed a hit petition here on the ground saying that the local court has no jurisdiction. Therefore, a writ of prohibition was issued. And in the in the, the single judge Manoj, uh, issued a writ of prohibition, the petition was allowed, and the lower court was directed to dispose of the matter on the ground. They have no jurisdiction. Against that order, we preferred an LPA, which is still pending. Now, in the meantime, the lower court passed an order in compliance with the High Court's order saying it has no jurisdiction and therefore it can't visit the matter. Dismissing it. Against which Manoj we are in first appeal. Going to solve a lot of problems here. Manoj, Against the order on merits, against the award on merits, they have already moved an application before this court for enforcement of the awards. Before this court, because they did an international award, they have already moved this court for enforcement of the award. The ultimately the uh, suit has been dismissed. Has been dismissed on the, the ground that this was an application under section, section 34. 34. 34. This was dismissed award. on the ground of lack of lack jurisdiction. Of jurisdiction. Hmm. Number of then, against, against which bonus we have filed this first appeal. But so then this appeal is for what? This appeal is against that order of the lower court, challenging, rejecting it on the ground that there is no jurisdiction. So there is only one order. But yes, yes, but keep, bear with me for a minute. I'm, uh, I'm this, making... Okay, the, you are talking about this appeal only. Yeah, I'm talking only. There is only one appeal. Only one. That's okay. It. But, 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 but. Against that international award, they have moved for enforcement 4748, which is pending in this court. So what I'm suggesting, Manoj... Before the high court? Before the high court, because it's then, an international award. So? So what I'm suggesting is, I'll withdraw this. And Your I'll choice? Withdraw, no, no, it's my, it's my choice. No, no difficulty. But leave all the issues and merits open so far as the challenge is concerned in, in the challenge uh, Before? enforcement. In the end, they are always open. We are not supposed to say anything. I just, I'll tell my lords why. Before the lower court under 34, I have made various submissions on merits. So it might not, somebody might not argue that I get ready. See, for enforcement of the award, it is kind of, of execution. Correct. So whatever argument you can take in execution, mm -hmm. you will take it. Lords, my, Nobody my stops you. But I'll tell my lords. Because I have taken the very, I'll tell my lords. See, here we are only on the question of jurisdiction. We are not on merits. Correct. Nothing I, has been I done on merits. I completely agree with what falls from my lodge. My issue is this. Even in section 34, the grounds under 34 challenge and the grounds under 48 are identical. Maybe. Now the, but uh, once the matter is rejected on the lack of jurisdiction, Manas, any ground taken I, by you will not prohibit you Manas, that from... Be, why would we clarify? Manas, I am only... Manas, I just... just, just Manas, Look here. On the statement made by yeah. 
Mr. Devan Parikh, learned senior advocate, assisted by Mr. Meet S. Thakkar, M I T S. Thakkar, learned advocate for the appellant. The instant appeal is instant appeal challenging the order of the court under section 34 of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act 1996, comma, on the ground of lack of jurisdiction, comma, is hereby dismissed as withdrawn. Great. Now, this, this will help you. I'm great. Hmm. <laughs> I just sometimes we do this only by way of abundant caution. No order, uh, well, interim order, if any stances. I'm grateful. Seventy six adjourn on request. Seventy seven priority. Le le ke, abhi toh, priority. priority. Or over. <laughs> oh, the both are over. Okay, great. Yes. Oh, we are respondents. Yes. Mr. Vyas is the felon. You are for the respondent. Yes, ma'am. This we, matter was hard. We both, we are family members and uh, our interest is court. I thought you and Mr. Majmud are our family members. <laughs> <laughs> I would not say that I was scared. <laughs> no, I, would, I would be very handsome if I was his family. <laughs> I would not comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Vyas. We passed over, I believe, Mr. Why? Mr. Deep Yassi is assisting other honorable judge or court. He's not just man. Take our one matter, I'll just ask him to make some arrangement to assist a lot. Okay. okay. He's on his After way. some time. After some time. Yeah. I'll just convey it to him. I'll know he's keeping it. Yes, today. yes. Very we'll busy. take it up after some Very, time. I'm extremely sorry. I am just incidentally here, therefore I will. I'm, as soon as he's uh, free. I, I just immediately convey. Please. But in case he can't make it, we are here only. It may be taken as early as possible after a few days. My in the next week. Different. In the next week. No. Very. Some, if, if it is not possible, if it is I not. I have some taken. difficulty from 29th for a fortnight. Therefore, on this side, if it is possible. Ah, the next week means 26th. Yeah, that perfectly. My week, week commencing. Perfectly all right. Please, sir. My apologies to my senior. Yes, yes. Please, please convey. I just, I'm straight away convey. 78, uh, Ms. Nilu Bhaya, Mr. B.M. Mangukya, Mr. A.S. Asthavadi. <laughs> <laughs> Neither side is here. Okay. 79, Mr. K.B. Pujara, Mr. Baskar Tanna, Learned Senior Advocate, Mr. Tanna Associate, Mr. Learned Government Leader, Mr. A.K. Clark, Mr. G.K. Rato, Mr. Paresh. It was kept at 3.30 as well. Very nice. After one or two minutes. Mm. But these are the retired employees of the Midra State Road Transport Corporation. <clears throat> Mr. 
The reference is only only one way. Before way, if you are from Sri Lanka, where? Hmm. Or before my brother then starts. I wanted to give him also a copy of a judgment for similarly situated person of division pain, which I received only yesterday online. So I'll pass over to division pain and my learned friends. It, it was okay. In a way, connected with the main issue, and I got copy only yesterday. I would have otherwise given them out. Okay. Huh? It was delivered before. You are challenging a circular. Uh, we are challenging circular, uh, hmm. which denies us the benefit of pay revisions effective from 1st January 2006, which was agreed to be given in the references which were pending before the tribunal. Prior to sixth pay commission came into being. Who initiated these references? Uh, references uh, must have been initiated at the relevant time by the uh, employees union. Okay. It when have you to... retired? Pardon me? When have you retired? We have retired after 1st of January 2006. Any date after? Any date after. We have uh, one year, two years, three years. But uh, within two years, almost. This judgment is probably with regard to this very circular. But that's not my, I have not seen it. You got to give me a date time. I will go through it. No difficult. This, this, this is, I, I, this is LPA. Yes. Now, what had happened was, if I direct I, repetition of Chadeh. Directly, directly, directly okay. holds. What was the issue in that? I'll tell my Similarly situated persons. Uh, who are not, not members, or if they were members, they say we are something different. Otherwise, similarly situated, five people went to this court, and ultimately, uh, in special letters, special said. So that judgment is in terms of the circular. Same thing, but Marad, I they may take time to read. I have no difficulties. Point I'm making is. ST corporation in every state is an autonomous corporation and certain uh, there was a relief of quashing of the circular was sought for. Yes. You are also quashing the relief of uh, yes. same. Uh, me give me a few days. That relief of quashing of the circular. Let us go through. No difficulties. Can it be on this side of 29th or hmm. after 19th? 27th. I'm over. At 2.30. I'm sorry I should have given, but I got it. Okay. No problem. <laughs> Mr. Vyas is here, man. If Mr. Vyas is here. Yeah, Joey is here. What's up? Eighty one. Okay. Seventy seven. He is here. Yeah. No, Seventy seven. Mr. Deep kept it after. Gasp and came as much. Basket the null and it's generated. Okay. Please, Raj. I have uh, submitted a two-page synopsis of the entire proceedings. If Alachis would have it. What is I, the issue about? This sir, is uh, LPA. This is the latest patent appeal. Hmm. What is the issue? Yes. A land is acquired by the corporation for a public purpose. 
I've given a date wise and also on the launches. I can, in fact, this will cover the entire things on the way your launches one date wise. Sir, please, I have given. You have given to me. Please, please. So if your launches would see, I can give a launches. The land was acquired by the corporation. Yes. So can I give one more? Sir, I think. Launches. No, no, we have. Uh, Lodges would have on page number two is the first is the proposition and on page number two it is uh, dates. It is the date wise hmm. synopsis. On 11 to 1970 by an award the land was acquired and compensation was paid to the present respondents original petitioners claims. The present respondents are owners. They are the heirs of the owners. They are the heirs of the owners. Heirs of the owners. That means owners. He's the owner. Hmm. Then, in 1973, against that order, they had preferred an application under Section 18 for enhancement right. of the award of compensation, hmm. which was allowed. But can my learner explain in terms of both? I'm sorry, I had not able to locate our copies. Sir, I I have got income from the I got income to that. Lachi Suji number three. <laughs> Please. <yeah. laughs> uh, on 1974, thereafter, this was carried out in a first appeal where the Honorable High Court granted additional compensation. The name of the corporation was thereafter mutated as the owner, which is reflected in the 712 records. Mm. Which is not true. I have given the corresponding page mm. number of the relevant. My mutation of LAQ order has also been carried out and it has been posted in the revenue records as well. This was acquisition for corporation. Acquisition for a public purpose. Right. For water works and drainage. Item number four, if a lot is would have. Number three is my uh, mutation is also there, which is at page 97 and 177, 178 of the order. Okay, all right. Then what happened? In 2008, on basis of an application and giving statement while preparing city survey records, the parties entered their name without disclosing LAQ award and previous mutation carried out in corporation. This revenue survey number was turned into city survey numbers. Okay. At that stage. And they got their on name. On basis of their it. statement, they got their name muted. Okay. Then what happened? That happened in 2008. In 2010, the corporation preferred an RTS appeal hmm. to get their name mutated in the record. Hmm. This present proceedings are the RTS proceeding itself. Hmm. Right. My uh, appeal was allowed on 31-7-2010. Right. Uh, they preferred an appeal. The collector rejected their objections. Hmm. One out of all the respondents, item number seven, one of the original respondent, which is Achyut Chinubai, had challenged the orders before special secretary, which came to be dismissed. Hmm. Item number eight. Now, there is a variation which has been taken in the town planning scheme hmm. where my name is shown as an owner. That is in 2001, hmm. which is at page 181 and 184 of the original petition hmm. paper. In the proceedings before the special secretary, there is a communication which was addressed by corporation to collector to aid the petitioner for granting any permission by dividing and demarcating the shares in final plot number 306 in favor of petitioner as well as corporation because there is only a part of the land which was acquired. So therefore, he wanted any permission, non-agriculture permission. So we said that you can divide it and demarcate it. That is also communication, which is so a record. By that time, there was a dispute with regard to demarcation. Now, no. Today, he is saying that since the name of corporation is not there in the revenue records, so he's at the number, entire therefore, land. I don't have any right in the property and therefore my entire land. Precisely. And that is the end. I'm not saying. That is what, what, is, done the, the, what is done by the learned single judge. Learned single judge says that town planning records are on the basis of mutation records. The 712 records, Sadbara say on that basis, there is a town planning records which are formed as the basis. At that time, the name of petitioners were there. Okay. At the original time, and therefore the name continues. Right. At the relevant time. Right. The court says that 
today i went before the collector to say that there is my right which is already subsisted therefore right. here me and my acquisition of no, right should mutation be does not uh, change the right of the person that is what it will not extinguish the right of the person correct so if the acquisition is not in dispute and the transfer the this award and everything have you correct. yes it is brought on record, on record yes, the sir. facts with regard yes, to sir. acquisition yes sir Lotches would see my section four six notification. Yes, sir. Uh, Lotches would see uh, my uh, synopsis, which I've given page number two of that synopsis. I've given the corresponding page number also. Ah, oh, yes, please give. Please, Lotches. If your Lotches would see mm. the synopsis, second page, uh, item number one, page hundred and five to hundred and ten. These are specific readings which I have made. If your Lotches would see page hundred and five, is that award? Sixteen seven nineteen sixty three. Please, sir. Is section four correct, sir? Section six is thirty six nineteen sixty six. Please, sir. Where is the survey number? Uh, Lodges would find the survey numbers. Uh, Lodges would find page hundred and twelve. I'm sorry, award would start 112 120 onwards, please. Sir. 12. No, we are talking about the survey number which were which subject, is a subject matter, matter of award. Please, sir, that survey number. What was the number of this plot? Can you tell us? Yes, just a minute, sir. Just a, I, I'll be able to. Over the paper, please. Huh? Please, sir. It is, I'm relying upon the original petition. Paper. Yes, but you have not given us the paper. So our pages will not be. Now, what has happened is my learned friend has not given us, though there are numbers of the paper book. There was no paper book which I have produced. I have produced the original red petition. Oh, my dear, sir. I'm saying pagination of. Special CA. I'm sorry. This is a draft amendment. You are referring to no, a draft amendment. In fact, amendment. since this this were put in office object, I'm, therefore, only, why... point, I'm only pointing out that we have not been, been. Have you received the draft amendment or not? No. Sure, sir. They have. He has filed draft amendment at the time of filing of the appeal. See, my lord is referring to CA. draft ah. amendment 24 2023. I don't find it in our record. Okay. What is the number? Sir, uh, yes. And Mara, request is only one. It can continue tomorrow anytime. We will do that. Just By the time you ask your uh, assisting counsel to fetch the draft amendment. We'll check it out. Yes, sir. Uh, the original survey. No number. problem is only one. If we can give overnight the copy. So that page in a certain have an extra copy of the original reply. Which oh, my dear I'm sir, I'm saying paper book of a special CA. If numbers are different, then then give it to us. Otherwise, we'll get it. What is the plot number? Please, sir. Yes. Uh, the parcel numbers, the lot chips. I'm sorry. I'll be able to pinpoint on that. You are also not ready in the matter. Uh, these Mr. Vyas, please, Raj. You are not ready. I'm now. sorry. Uh, with that survey number detail, prepare it and then we'll take it up. I'll do. Meanwhile, hello, we'll put our house in order. Ah, us. yes. And we'll check up about them. Yes. Those are giving me. But either so, before 29th or after 19th, whichever is convenient. Either way. Between 24th, 6 to 20th. Between 26 to 28, we have fixed many cases. No? Lord, so after that, 23rd, April. I'm ready. Please, sir. I'm, In sorry fact, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I'll ensure that that particular number is okay. At 2.30. Oh, issue is very limited in one line. <laughs> issue is that can you... After the date is fixed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll do it. Damn it.
The interim order granted earlier shall continue till the next two weeks. Serial number 80, MSS Trivedi and Gupta. Uh, Mr. P.Y. Deviations, Udkar Sharma, Mr. Mr. Park. Mm -hmm. Trivedi is appearing in the matter. Yes, sir. Maybe she should take up, take up few matters. Who is appearing? Mr. Trivedi is appearing for us. Mr. Mr. Kamal, Mr. Kamal Trivedi is appearing for us. Okay, for the, appeal, for the, petition. For the petition. For the petition, yes. Can you start? Why was it kept at 3.30? 2.30. There has been no mention. 2.30. It is shown as at, at 3.30. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Huh? Okay. 80. Okay. You can keep it after some. What do you want? You want adjournment today? In fact, first request was that if it could be kept back, but I understand it's 4.30 is also okay. Hmm. If your ladyship could have after two weeks. After? Two weeks. Or whenever is convenient. Fix any day. Eighteenth of April. Oh, Great. Eighty one, Mr. Y. H. Vyas, Mrs. Krishna Raval, Dinesh Kapadia, Sadarshit Gambat. Mrs. Krishna Raval, Maulik Nanavati, Ms. Krupi Shah, Ms. Sushil Shukla, so you start today, we will continue at 3.30 every day. You start today, we will continue for hearing at 3.30 every day. We were asked to file a reply. There was an order of the Honorable Court where the Land Acquisition Authority was required to compute as per a person's engagement. On the last occasion, Honorable Court said that you file it by way of an affidavit. The affidavit is ready. What have you done? We have computed, we have granted them as per in consonance with the business. So you have you have paid them or they are no, uh, still? We requested the NHEA to give us the fund to disperse them. They have till they have okay. not given. That till is they have not given. Who appears? Where is the counsel for NHEA? File this affidavit. This is affidavit or this is a? Affidavit. Affidavit. I have filed it in 5504. That is a lead matter only. Because you have account. already filed? No. I prepared it. And I'm okay. Can you pass it? It's only one matter because it's a common order. Five, five. Mr. Nanavati. Yeah. If he is saying that he is filing and calculating only in one matter. No, no, I am saying that. I am saying order, it's a common it? order. I am filing affidavit in one matter. It's a common order. You are giving me the copy by saying that we are filing it in another matter. My yeah. lender friend has not understood it and she is making a statement. I am saying that it's a common order. Wait, wait. An affidavit wait. is in yeah. one matter. It's not to fight. Like... What he says is yeah. that I am filing yeah. affidavit in one of the matter yeah. and we have computed computed compensation in accordance with the decision of Tarsim Singh 
for all the yes. petitioners. Then let him give. So he will give you. Where is the? Why are you saying like this? He's not giving me the copy. So you, the you should talk to him. I have already. This is not the way. Requested him, but he is not giving me the copy, why? madam. This is a problem. Why would he refuse? Why but then, but then he says, I am not filing it in your matter. I am filing it in the. Then, then you are you are you are assuming everything on your I'm own. I am not assuming. This is not the way of. Uh, I am not talking assuming. to your uh, um, uh, your colleagues. But this I is not the not way. Assuming. Please wait for some time. But I have to Please wait for me. some time. We are not doing anything. We are waiting for Mr. Nanavati. Mr. Nanavati. Yes, please. What Mr. Kritik Parik says that they have computed compensation in accordance with the decision of Tarasim Singh. Okay. With respect to all the petitioners here. In compliance of order passed by this court. Right. And in one of the red petition is filing affidavit today. What okay. he's saying is that he has given these details to NHI and NHI is given time to deposit compensation. Yes. yes. Time until as soon as possible. So I will uh, I'll speak to them in this and see to it yeah, that it is done at the so earliest. We want that you should file your response. So yes. this affidavit filed by NHR. Liz, I, uh, I will file a response placing on record the fact that we have deposited the money. When you will deposit the money? Liz, I would deposit the money by the next date. If your lot is going to keep within, it after two weeks. Within? By two weeks, I will deposit the money, Liz. Okay. Hopefully, Liz. Liz, because the, of March ending, I am not very sure. Your lot is defer it by two weeks. I will I am deposit. Filed in special civil application number 5504 of 2015 comma in this bunch comma it is with the career it is submitted by mr krutik parik comma learn agp that the computation of compensation in accordance in compliance of the decision of this court What was the date of the order? 29th August 23. Dated 29th August 2023 has been made by the competent authority and the details have been submitted and the detailed compu computation has been forwarded the order is being to an order, an order to this effect has been passed on 16th February, 16th February 2024. And the same has been forwarded to, and a communication has been sent to the NHI to deposit the compute, deposit the compensation amount. First off, it is stated that as soon as the said compensation amount Compensation amount in an expeditious manner. First off, it is further stated that as soon as the compensation amount is deposited by the NHI, comma, the same would be dispersed to the claimants slash petitioners herein after verification of their after due verification. First off, on a query made by the court, comma, Mr. Malik G. Nanavati. Learn counsel for the NHI would submit that he will ensure that the payment, that the compensation computed by the competent authority is deposited within a period of two weeks from today. Please, your lordship, I grant a little more time because of 31st March, Millets. My budgetary allocations will be here and there. Please. Three weeks. Yes, please. your lordship, may keep it on the 11th. By that time, we would have done it, Millets. As soon as, as early as possible, Pradeja. Yes, please. First of all, Parajinskari, to grant time to the council, to, to grant time to the NHI to make the necessary deposits, comma, we post the matter on 23rd? Fair, fair enough. 23rd April. First of all, the affidavit of compliance of making deposits before the competent authority comma as per the award date award slash order dated 16 to 2024 shall be filed on the next date fixed for a copy of the 
affidavit shall be served. Affidavit filed in special civil application number 5504 of 2015 shall be served upon the councils appearing in each writ petition in the instant group within a period of 48 hours by Mr. Kruthik Parik, Learn AGP, who may file their response on, by the next date fixed. This does next not case. make reference of any of the matters which pertains to TAPI yes. district. This compliance report which he is submitting today does not make reference of any of the matters in which my lords have passed the order. Okay, so you file Tapi affidavit. Is concerned. You will, once you file affidavit, you will see it. Please, sir. <laughs> That 2023 matter? Yes. Will you argue it separately? Will you argue it separately? 2023 matter, will you? Then it will come along with the group on 23rd. Sorry. If you argue it separately, we'll take it up. I will argue separately, my Lord will notify it separately. In the next. On the, next on the request made by Mr. What is your good name? Vikram Trivedi. Mr. Vikram Trivedi, Lan Advocate appearing for VM Trivedi, Lan Advocate appearing for the petition. The matter is posted. When do you want to argue? Any time I will take two minutes. You decide. We will hear it only at 3 30. Please, Your Lord. You decide the date, we will fix the date. I don't know if that is it. No, no, we are here every day. You whenever you want to do. On Monday or Tuesday or whatever. Okay. okay. The matter is posted on 18 Kariga at 3 30 p.m. Please, your lordships have segregated. Detagged, Kariga. Detagged. Please, your lordships have detagged 13008. Yes, 13008 of 2023. Fence. Detagged and is posted on 23rd. Please, possibly uh, nothing survives in this petition, Millens. So let, let him argue. Let him argue. No, I'll, tell, I'll tell your lordships the reason, Millens. I'm, I'm so sorry, on 26th. 23rd is wrong date. 26th. The, the uh, 3A notification has not been followed by the 3D notification. So therefore, the notification itself has lapsed. Nothing survives now. Then, I'll, I'll file no, an affidavit. No, no. How wires? We are not deciding academic issue. Like this. We are not deciding academic issue of wires. Yes, 3, 3D is not issued. No bullets. He tagged uh, statement. The instant petition has been filed. Please, Mr. Counsel. Please, please, Mr. Counsel. Please, Mr. Counsel. Please, Mr. Counsel. Has been filed at the stage. The instant uh, petition has been filed to challenge the wires of the provisions contained in section 3A, capital A, to 3 capital G, or the National Highways Act 1956, in discriminatory command constitution, comma ultra wires, and violative of Article 14 of the Constitution, comma, at the stage of publication of section 3A notification dated 1-3-2023. First up, the petitioners essentially are aggrieved by acquisition of their plots by notification dated 1-3-2023, which is a preliminary notification only propose only publishing the pro publishing the proposal for acquisition of the land lands in question for construction of national highway first of para change kari however when the matter was taken up comma mr molik ji nanavati an advocate appearing for nhi made a statement that no 3d notification in continuation of 3A notification 
डेटेड वन थ्री टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री हैज बीन इशूड टिल डेट फर्स्ट ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट दस इज दैट द एंटायर एक्विजिशन प्रोसीडिंग स्टैंड लैप्सड एज फॉर करियर फॉर नॉन इशुएंस ऑफ द डिक्लेरेशन नोटिफिकेशन अंडर सेक्शन थ्री डी ऑफ नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स एक्ट विद इन ए पीरियड ऑफ वन ईयर फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ प्रिलिमिनरी नोटिफिकेशन अंडर सेक्शन थ्री ए ऑफ द एक्ट नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ पैरा चेंज कर एस द प्रिंसिपल ग्रवांसिस रेज बाय द पिटिशन अबाउट द वैलिडिटी ऑफ द नोटिफिकेशन डेटेड वन थ्री टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री अंडर सेक्शन थ्री ए ऑफ द एक्ट नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स डज नॉट सर्वाइव वी डू नॉट फाइंड एनी रीजन टू कीप द रिट पिटिशन पेंडिंग टू डिसाइड the issue of validity of the provisions contained in section 3a to 3g of 1956 comma which became academic in so far as the present petitions petitioners are concerned first of it is settled law that the varies of any provision cannot be decided in vacuum comma the person challenging the varies of sta a statutory provision has to establish prejudice caused to him because of the statutory provisions because of the provisions contained there first of the academic issue which is sought to be pressed by law and counsel for the petitioner cannot be decided by us as the as on date comma no proceeding for acquisition of the land in question survives first of for the aforesaid comma the writ petition is dismissed as having become infructuous please there was only one request please if your lordships can qualify the date of 1st march 2023 with the so number because there are multiple notifications of that date If your lordship is going to have page thirty-three minutes, we have not said any number of the notification. No, listen. The request is if your lordship can specify the number. Is specify the number. What is the number? Please, it would be Where S O. Please, page thirty-three. Page thirty-three. Hmm. Okay. Please, S O nine seventy-two within bracket A. Notification eight. dated so and so, number. Nine three five. No, please nine seventy two within bracket E. Okay, namely, करेगा S dot O dot nine seventy two brackets capital E, dated first March twenty twenty three, comma appended at an extra at page thirty three appended as an extra A at page thirty three of the paper book. So grateful, please. इन अदर मैटर्स वी विल अदर देर आर अदर मैटर्स वेर वी विल हियर यू यू आर देर इन अदर मैटर्स एज वेल मिस्टर काउंसिल यू आर यू आर एन एडवोकेट इन अदर मैटर्स ऑल्सो नो Number forty-three, Lanet Public Prosecutor. Remarks column, please. Report, sir. Also. अच्छा 
पुलिस इंस्पेक्टर ऑफ द पुलिस स्टेशन कंसर्न दैट एज पर द telephonic message received by him from sarpanch and the report of ha huh, the sarpanch comma the sole respondent herein has passed away full stop the report dated the said report has been forwarded to us to this court comma without any ver verification of death of the respondent on the part of the chief judicial magistrate comma vadodara first of the copy of the death certificate though has been attached along with any has not been huh? the copy of the death certificate attached the chief judicial magistrate vadodara is directed to verify the factum of death of respondent is directed to submit a death report in accordance with the strictly in accordance with the circular dated 10 11 2023 issued by this court within a period of 3 weeks from today what up this matter on any wednesday first of may Hundred and nine. Yes. Also. Because there is a report that there is a report of that the respondent has not been served. of the order dated 28/9/2022 first of parach inspector this matter has been listed after a long time comma let a report be called for from the cjm concern with district likh lijiyega cjm amdavad about the living status of the sole respondent sole respondent sole respondent strictly in compliance of the circular dated and submit a report is strictly in compliance of the circular dated 10 11 2023 issued by this court for stop in case the respondent here in is alive comma necessary intimation be given to him that about the date fixed in the instant appeal and that he is required to engage a counsel to participate in the proceeding first stop further comma in case the respondent is not in a position to engage a counsel comma he shall be a private counsel comma he shall be intimated about the legal aid provided by the high court
110 here also sole respondent there is an intimation of death of the sole respondent the death certificate is also attached here with however proper death report is not on record the cgm concerned degrejaga district is directed to submit a fresh report about verification of death of the respondent strictly in accordance with the circular dated 10-11-2023 within a period of three weeks from today date. This was a good exercise. This should be done every week. So many of them could be sorted out. 118. So here at least relevant time. We could have asked the legal assistant also, but they will not be able to do it because unko idea nahi. Only you people can do it. Wow, aap dono mil ke kar sakte. Likhe. Hmm. The record indicates that. The respondent has not been put in has not put in appearance. The previous counsel is no more available. Let a notice be issued to the respondent through the CGM to the respondents through the CGM Sabarkant to intimate the respondents about the date fixed in the appeal, next date fixed in the appeal. First up. Since the appeal is quite old, comma, verification of living status of the respondents is also required to be made. And in case of death of any of the respondents, comma, a death report be submitted strictly in accordance with the circular dated 10-11-2023. First off, in case the respondents, are, respondents brackets S are alive, R is slash R alive comma due intimation shall be given the same way about the date fix and then if that is required to engage a counsel and then if counsel is not available then legally same para will come okay. hmm. same same date three weeks the report be submitted within a period of three weeks in every case, you write that office shall intimate this order within 48 hours and get these orders signed today. Otherwise, three weeks, they make a good fight and if they break up the bad orders, I know what they have to watch. I don't time limit. Okay. You send this order and write them urgent and convey also to my PO, otherwise, you have to name. Yes. The one twenty six cases are not there, but one respondent number thirty reported to have passed away. File are there. Okay. It is. This appeal is of the year two thousand nine and has been listed after a long time. Let a notice be issued, Karke. Uh, it is reported that the response number 13 is no more. First of however, there is no death verification report. First of as the appeal is listed after a long time, comma, the CGM so and so is required to serve notice upon the respondents, intimating them about the date fixed in the matter and that for voyage, like a council will apply. They are required to engage a counsel and if that legally same fact. Okay, we are still continuing please, with the book. Please. 128. Rule not. This is that number one is reported to that. 
same order as the previous one. The response number one. one. One is reported to have passed, have been passed, to have died. Hundred and thirty-two. Answer mm. not found yet. So fresh notice, intimating, and living status both. Hundred and forty. Note clearly that I'm mixing the two three types of orders are there. Mm. One forty. Mm. Number two. Unserved is expired. Living status, death report, and counsel, the entire order. File, the, this appeal has come up after a long time. So let us just say, start. Cutting. 141, it is unserved. Same. And 140 do not receive death. So fresh. Mm, fresh notice. After a long time, and living status, fresh notice, advocate, and uh, legal aid. Everything. Thank you. This is a good job. Yeah. May I make a this time? makes a lot of uh, movement in the files. Otherwise, take up the whole. Serial number 108 of my logs board. My Lord, it is a matter of repetition PIL, which was kept for orders. Yeah, if my logs recollect, I had requested um, by way of uh, my Lord, urgent hearing. This can be uh, placed on 26, 27, whichever date is convenient to the Honorable Court. It is a matter of writ pertaining to prevent the loss of 74 crore 90 lakhs approximately, my Lord, to the state losses. For, for so what? Due to loss. I am appearing for the uh, writ. How this loss, loss due to what? My Lord, uh, Vadodara Municipal Corporation is selling a parcel of land which is priced at 20,000 rupees per square feet. And they are selling at 3,200 rupees, my Lord. This is a short This is in 2018. Is yes. there any interim order in this? No, interim and order. It, they must have sold it. This PIL is of 2018. Please, We are in 24. Therefore, only... They I must have, have sold it. My Lord, some... They have still not sold the whole thing. How? I'll take instruction regarding that. So you My first complete your instructions. This, this will come up. 